All right. Well, last last I heard was I can hear you, but it's quiet. Okay. Uh, so this is good. I'm trying to to project at least a little bit. No, this uh, this, should, this should not this should not be theater. You should not have to. <laughs> a horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse. <laughs> Okay. It does, sounds like we're pretty good. Okay. Good, great, excellent. I know what I did wrong. Um, I am I am constantly amazed and astounded by the number of things that can go wrong <laughs> when you are streaming. <laughs> right. um, My 12-year-old students do this. Yeah, it's crazy <laughs> to me. It's so hard. It's wild. It's wild. This is, this so is, my... yeah, no, say it. Sorry, I was just My school recently went back to distance learning for the last two days in the coming week like we probably should have been doing the whole time <clears throat> but um i noticed that my seventh graders like seemingly like fully half of them have like super nice expensive gamer chairs at home <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what's happening <laughs> they're preparing for their careers yeah they, they As asked me if, if i was on youtube and i said i don't have my own channel but I am on a friend's channel from time to time. And they went, oh, what's, he, what, you know, what's his channel? And I went, there's a reason I didn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I said what I said. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I mean, you still maintain, uh, you don't even have a day Twitter anymore, right? It's all night Twitter. Oh, yeah, no, it's just night Twitter. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> my, uh, my online presence is uh, downright vampiric these days. <laughs> <laughs> truly a creature of the a creature of the night okay so here's what you missed due to my stupidity uh dear viewer uh we dealt with some stuff i have a peasant uprising which has just begun you have not missed any juicy combat uh here's my army here's the peasant uprising i don't think it's going to go well for the peasant uprising meanwhile my son and heir uh is sleeping with my wife so that's not great uh however uh we've decided that and to, and to clarify your wife is his mother Yes, yes, that 100%. is that is actually important. But yes, uh, I have had no other <laughs> wife, I don't think, uh, with this character. Um, so, yeah. So anyway, I decided that Helgi the Seer, broken man that he is, is just going to go ahead and sort of let that slide and indeed try to cover for them. Um, and uh, yeah, that seemed like the, the best in character decision. We pointed out that on the uh, stewardship tree, uh, there is a meritocracy perk. Which would allow me to claim throne against my liege, which is a thing that really doesn't matter for this this shell of a man, but may matter at some point during the campaign. Uh, I think you're caught up. Uh, you, I, I think I you've so. you've maybe missed one in-game day. Uh, I feel okay about this. Uh, let me give some orders to the army, and then we will uh, get going. All right, Can I get over there. Ooh, I am tempted. To declare war on Jarl Ormer Bjornsson of Ostergotland. Oh, that is the one other thing you missed. If we're cutting out the first part of the stream, which yeah. is, uh, look how look how handsome Finland is looking. That's Adam. Um, Finland. You should also definitely yeah. show them my king's beard. Oh yeah, we should definitely. It's been on every stream, but they should definitely see it again. It's always worth seeing. Look at that thing. No. Oh, and the crown looks Beautiful. so good on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good it's video game. Crown on top of a beard. <laughs> it's it's really easy to forget that he's kind of terrible and definitely possessed. <laughs> <laughs> and he's so okay. Yeah, yeah. I say I say you missed nothing else, but you did miss one other thing, which is we were pointing out this dude's had a good run for someone who's been possessed since he was thirty, and is now five somewhere in there, and is now fifty-seven. Yeah. Yeah, he has no business having had the successful uh, royal career. Your IRL wife is uh, is enjoying the handsomeness of your in-game avatar, <laughs> FYI. Uh, uh, my apologies uh, to my IRL wife that I cannot only not grow a beard that majestic, but cannot grow a beard at all. <laughs> <laughs> no beard whatsoever? None. Yeah, we don't put I'm our... I'm lucky to get whiskers. We don't put our faces on the stream, but I currently have like a pointy, like, Spanish noble beard. <laughs> I no. That's that's pretty wonderful, honestly. Uh, I mean, I mean, who looks at me? Just just my wife, and it's and, and she, you know, she likes these shenanigans. Uh, okay, shall we begin the clock? I think so. Okay. Yeah, let's kill some peasants. Yeah, I mean, oh my goodness, another unfaithful event. Hang on now. <laughs> oh boy. As if violating the sanctity of our marriage was not enough, and let it 
put, let me just go ahead and say, it definitely was. Uh, my witch of a wife, which is a weird thing for a witch to call his wife, <laughs> had to share a bed with him, of all people, her own son. Perhaps I should have known. They were always so close. Oh, Rod, the thought of them together, it makes me sick. Is this, did, a, is this a different son? I no, think this, this is, already happened. This is just the other side of the same event. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, okay. Now to both. You've, understood. You've done the one and now you're doing the other. Understood, understood. Um, okay, so this is interesting. I actually have options with her that I didn't have with him. Presumably because you're married to her and you're not yeah. married to him. You're right. Well, I mean, in this family, who knows? Um, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hmm. Break it off or there will be consequences. My wife likes me. My wife really doesn't like me. Um, um, I mean, in for a dime, in for a dollar. <laughs> um, oh, wait. So interestingly, I don't have a cover it up option here. I can expose it, yeah. I can threaten, I can entreat, or I can punt. Um, you gain 35 stress and become arrogant with, uh, with the entreaty option. Let's, I mean, whatever. We've decided this. We've decided he is not handling the news well, so he'll he'll need time to think. Let's go with that. Okay, here we go. It tracks. It does track. You just keep your feelings inside, and then one day, you'll die. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I have a call to war. Who am I being called to war against? Greater Poland and Lower Silesia. All right, yeah. Let's accept. I could gain some prestige this way. Um, you could fight a war. Why not? Yeah. Uh, Sorry, where did like, you say? Poland and Silesia? Yeah, Greater Poland and uh, Lower Silesia, which is just north of Great Moravia in our current uh, uh, game. There they are. What What's the approximate time frame of this, this, this game? It Currently, is the 17th of March, 899. Yeah, not so approximate. Um, we started okay. the, we started the campaign as early as you're allowed to start it. I see. Which is 860 something, maybe? Sounds right. Yeah, I mean, this is basically the second generation of these these dynasties, such as they are in my case. Right, and, and I assume it closely follows history, yes? Well, well that's up to you, isn't it? <laughs> your, your starting point closely follows history. Uh-huh, yeah. Where it goes from there... You know, you can actually play this game as just like a fish tank or a screensaver. You can be not a player and just watch the weird alt historical things that happen to it. <laughs> yeah, and um, it's all rolls, so it it won't necessarily play out the same way twice. In fact, it'll never play out exactly the same way twice. Exactly. Um, I, I looked this up earlier. Uh, let me see if I can find. Actually, you can search for people, and yes, there are twenty seven thousand two hundred and twenty one individual characters being modeled in this simulation currently huh. uh and they will not all take actions every day but any one of them could take a particular action any day right and that's obviously that's low as far as the population of of a continent goes but it's pretty high as far as number of people for a game to keep track of goes right well and it represents mm -hmm. um you know right, dwarf fortress aside <laughs> yeah uh, high, <laughs> right well right get anywhere near that and Dwarf Fortress on my not all that inconsequentially powerful computer tends to just like crash it yeah so. I mean this this game doesn't keep track of individual organs and stuff right yeah, yeah. exactly um, <laughs> what it does keep track of is title character with titles uh, characters who are part of great houses uh, and some randomly generated characters who interact with them uh, so every individual county on the map has somebody who owns it and their family, essentially. Yeah. And then a couple others. Yeah. All right, I'm good to unpause whenever you are, but I think you're making important strategic decisions. Sort of, kind of. I'm thinking I'm actually just going to let this one kind of ride and pretend like I helped at the end of it. So, yeah. My work is done here, but you didn't do anything. Whoosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am the knight. <laughs> Unpaused. I realize what one word or business. Uh, if you just tuned in and uh, you didn't hear the beginning part, you don't know Ian. Say hi, Ian. Oh, hi. 
That's Ian, everybody. I'm Ian. Uh, He's just just hanging out, just just bros playing some Crusader Kings. There we go. Uh, the way my gods or your gods or someone's gods intended. Some gods or other. Yeah. Tikvin was under siege. We took care of that. We're just still fighting the Battle of Tikvin over here. It's going well. Not for the peasants, to be clear. Right, yeah, I know. I don't think anything ever I mean, really goes when, well it, when is it ever? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or in any game, or in yeah. real life. I'm currently what reading um, John Berger's novels. He did a trilogy of novels. Because he, like, he walked the walk. He went and lived with a bunch of French peasants. <laughs> and he wrote this trilogy of novels about the, the French peasant lifestyle, which, you know, like how industrialization was messing with it and is really good. But you were about to say something that was probably a lot more related to the game we're playing. No, I don't know about that. It was. Uh, <laughs> I was just going to say, in your part of the world especially, peasants have had, had it rough historically. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, like Latvia, Estonia area. Well, he, technically, what he is in is the uh, initial seat of what would eventually become the Russian Empire, uh, uh, and serfs in Russia were essentially slaves. Yeah, uh, even by serf standards, just, things were not super yeah. good. <laughs> not just bound to the land, but essentially without rights, they were owned by their lords. Which uh, explains why this mean tweet might emanate from one of them uh, to the loathsome Helgi. May your humors rot in your living body. I know when I am defeated, it seems I am left with no choice but to comply with your demands. So, yeah. That's that, then. So much for the peasant revolt. Overtaxation causes banditry. End of the game. <laughs> Took me a second. I'm a little slow. This problem happened in spite of your steward's average stewardship skill. My steward, who is also my son, who is also my wife's lover. This guy, this is, maybe, maybe if you'd saw to your stewardship a little more there. <laughs> yeah, really. I <laughs> mean, he, ha he has, the, his personality type is treacherous, right? So. Yeah, well. Uh, but he's supposed to be a lackey. He's, like, he's, he gets a lot done in a day for a lackey. I guess, I guess treachery will do that to you. Uh, Tickman is no longer under siege. I know, after a long day of treachery. <laughs> <laughs> All you want is a tall, cool beverage. I, by the way, realized I own a goblet of a sort, and I haven't been using it on this stream, which is which means take my internet card away. So I have my goblet out now. Well, it's about time. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, I'm good to proceed. Yeah, uh, it's your pause. Oh, um, it's true. Sure. We're, we're down around uh, two speed rather than three. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Connection artifact, but if you want to bump us back up for as long as it'll last. Three pips it is. Pip, pip, pip. Hooray. Pip, pip. Yeah. Oh, that's right. The greater part of my army was still um, still out there from that, that War of Conquest last time and wouldn't let me disband mm -hmm. them until they were back on all the way friendly turf, I guess. Yeah, I still am not entirely clear on how it decides when and where you can raise and lower armies in this particular game. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, raiders. Just a moment. That'll happen. Um, I've got some raiders, you see. Uh, and I would like to not have them presently. Um, so let me set a nearby rally point in... Amaryavri. <laughs> Rapacious <And>, uh, adventurer. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna lead a peasant revolt, uh, so he's jailed by the same son who really just has a very full schedule, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, you know, dad's so sad. What with the affair and all, so I just gotta step up. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, so we do, I mean, I, so I could just kill him. Um, I can ransom him. I don't know that a peasant is going to ransom for very much. Probably just a favor. Yeah. Uh, if I had to guess, you could torture him. <laughs> for, for fun and profit? But literally. Uh, you what are the mechanical, hard. what are the, yeah, I was going to say, what are the mechanical advantages of, Jesus Christ, this is a dark question. What are the mechanical yeah. advantages of torture? Well, I have not done it. <laughs> In Crusader Kings 3. I don't um, know that I've done it in Crusader Kings 2 either. 
Uh, Keep on judging me from your ivory throne there, Mr. I have a kingdom. (laughs) Um... Uh, I don't know that there would be any here. Uh, you could probably gain some dread, which does help keep people in line if they don't like you. Um, and uh, presumably, if you were sadistic or cruel, had one of those character traits on your character, you could maybe work off some stress this way. Oh, um, I see. That gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so in this you case, uh, yeah. Had somebody you cared about getting information from, you could probably learn secrets of theirs or of people's they knew about, uh, or gain their cooperation with things. But I don't honestly know. I am speculating. So. That's interesting. So I can either, if I release him, he likes me a little better. Oh, I lose 10 dread, interestingly. Unless I demand a hook from him, in which case he likes me less, which is probably fine. Mm -hmm. Um, Or I could invite him to court. Well, that's interesting. Or you can recruit him, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, You can recruit him as as a champion. His marshal ain't bad. No, it's actually quite good. I mean, yeah, that's probably the best. I mean, yeah, he's gonna know. he's gonna all the way hate me, but you know, <laughs> he lost the war. That's that's that seems like a him problem. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, well, winning, winning is what I do. He should try that. <laughs> <laughs> if I were a peasant in ninth century pre-Russia, I would simply win my own race. <laughs> I'm assuming this was in reference to the torture thing, but Joanne says, and I quote, yikes. <laughs> Probably. Uh, all right, let me see if I can drive these raiders out. Yeah, I guess all she, she, was, she was, yeah, totally. She was, by the way, only half paying attention and just came in on, what are the advantages of torture? <laughs> Just spitballing here. No bad ideas. <laughs> you know, even though we say that, I'm going to have to rule that torture would still be a bad idea if we were spitballing. I'm trying to imagine the boardroom meeting where somebody was like, what if we tortured our customers until they bought our product? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I joke, but... I would like to think that that guy gets shut down immediately, but... Yeah, depending on how high into man- into the management structure no, we like... are. <laughs> That's like that um, uh, Mitchell and Webb look uh, skit about them trying to uh, stave off economic recession. <laughs> and the guy's suggestion is, have you tried killing the poor? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, there are no. some bad well, ideas. Obviously we're, obviously we're not going to do that, but have you tried it? <laughs> <laughs> um, outliving a child. Hoppa has been murdered. Oh, Uko, how could you do this to Hoppa? If I have sinned, why did you not punish me instead? He was blameless, my perfect son. Life had so much more in store for him. And then I can click, he did not deserve this. He was 19. And kind of had a hard life, being honest. Yeah, that's, that sucks. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I gained 35 stress. So that's also not amazing. Although, you know, on a different level than, you know, the death of a child. It's, uh, it's That seems great. pretty low. Yeah, well, I'm just that laid back, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you have gained the trait confirmed chill-ass dude. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm good on pause. So Let's I do it. Do so. I'm throwing these raiders out of my territory. Good riddance to ye. I will say, so we, you know, I'm on my lieges council. I'm I'm her marshal. And this has not come up very much. There have been, there, I don't think there's been a single event um, mm-hmm. she hasn't asked my advice. She, <laughs> I haven't been blamed for any of the, <laughs> I, I guess, I guess if she were to lose a war, I might take the blame. That might happen. But. Well, and I think you're getting some prestige and maybe some pay for being her marshal. That is true. Um, that is true. And then she is gaining the benefits of having a marshal with a high, um, right. What do they call it in this game? Uh, is, it, is it called Marshall? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just the other spelling. Yeah. Uh, you know, so she's she's gaining the the added levies and reinforcement rate from that. So, yeah, everybody wins. Unpausing, cool. And there could be events around it, but I don't know how common that is on the player side of things. Sure. Can I disband yet? Nope. Time to look into some new wars to declare. That's not the thing I meant to do. Merge armies. Still can't disband, huh? 
Where are the hostile armies? There we go. I, hmm. Hmm? Trying to decide if I want to declare war on Ostergotland or if I want to wait until this war that I am an ally in gets decisively lost because I didn't send help. <laughs> what do goings on in Poland concern me? Uh oh. Counselor died. I should probably replace him. Yeah, probably. Ooh. <clears throat> Man, I don't have a bunch of good stewards, do I? Yikes. Um, well, if I do get another 100 gold, I can usurp the High Chiefdom of Karelia, which would be helpful. But too poor currently. <laughs> can I ask your advice, well, dear uh, Crusader Kings know about her? Yes, of course. That is who who should I literally what I'm here for? Who should I who should I make war upon? Um, who should I, you make war upon? Let's see. I have a, a veritable banquet of options. Um, yes, so, you are Tikvin, and you are subjugate ultimately to Estonia. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. Um, Luki is not a terrible idea. Um, I'm looking here in terms of what is in the kingdom of Novgorod, mm -hmm. uh, and mostly what you don't have so far is um, the parts of Novgorod that are held by your liege, Luki, and the parts held by Chieftain Zeslav Ingvarovich of Skov, uh, who is a fellow vassal of High Chief Disvirka. Um, so my mind always goes to try and consolidate a de jure kingdom. So without making war on a fellow vassal or on your liege, I think Luki is probably your best target. Small wrinkle. Um, Luki is, yeah. is, is currently held by my nephew. Does that matter? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Okay. Uh, I mean, if you want to make things personal. <laughs> I mean, again, in this family, you just want to be careful about that kind of thing. Um, okay. Um, it may increase the cost of declaring that war. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I don't think there's anything particular up with that. Declaring... Yeah, your brother and I not be very happy about it. <laughs> declaring war. We're not angry. We're just disappointed. Declaring war will break the <laughs> truce. Which okay. truce? Well, that's. Um, oh, uh, if you go to your character sheet, we should be able to look at your truces. Okay. So those little uh, flags under here, the uh, three bows banner under diplomacy on your character sheet. If you mouse over that, it'll tell you when that truce will be over. It's in four years. Uh, so you could declare war on Luki in four years. In the meantime, then, I guess expanding into. Uh, the kingdoms of Vladimir or Bjarmaland would make the most sense since they border you. Um, this is something you can see by going to that de jure kingdom title uh, map mode once you've zoomed out uh, enough. Oh, gotcha. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, that would be duchies and that would be kingdoms. So Bjarmaland is to your northeast and uh, Vladimir is to your southeast. Gotcha. Uh, and so if you want to maybe pick off Vologda or Lyubim or Ustyug uh, or Chudia. Those are all relatively small fries um, with probably not a ton of people compared to you. Um, I think probably your best bets at first at least are going to be Ustyug and Vologda since you border them. Sure. Uh, directly. Uh, Bjarmia you also border directly but it has a a uh, fair few more troops to call on than the others do. Um, Ustyug has alliances with the chieftain of Komogri and Estonia, which is interesting. I don't think your liege can be called in against you, but I haven't put that to the test. And Vologda has... Um, oh, well, interesting. The county, the chiefdom of Vologda, is not beholden to the Jarldom of Vologda. Wrap your head around that one. Um, <laughs> this is this, this is one of the more historically accurate things about this game, yeah. actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so the, the Vologda that neighbors you is already at war with Estonia, for one thing. Oh, um, that's right. That's this war. And uh, does not have any troops to call on, <laughs> according to the character sheet for the guy. So should be easy pickings if nothing else. I yeah. don't know if you can declare a war when you're already at war with him. but um, Well, maybe I'm not at war with him. I mean, it's referring to his dude as a as a neutral army, it looks like. Yeah, yeah, you may not be then involved in your Legion's War. Although if he's already, I can't see the troops there. Mm -hmm. If that's an army belonging to Estonia, you may not be able to siege it out from under your king. Sure. So you may have to wait until that passes. Okay. Uh, to, All right. To I mean, if I need to just lay low and enjoy my extremely happy home life for a while, that's okay. <laughs> well, I mean, two people in the room seem pretty happy. Um <laughs> But yeah, I would say Luki is your big target, and you can kind of pick off whatever neighbors you, and you can afford the cost of spell eye for until then. Sure. Okay. Cool. Good to start time when you are. All right. In that case, go for it. <sighs> My wife... My wife, Jesus Probeshek, I said it before you could, let the record show, is once again <laughs> absent from our chambers as night falls. She has been distant lately. L distant, come on, man. We're past the, <laughs> we're past the she's acting a little funny phase here. Lost in thought and rarely seen at court. Am I yeah, not to her you? satisfaction? Is she simply, I know the answer to this question. I this like the idea that Jarl Helgi, the seer, is just deluding himself. <laughs> like some... it's like, my, my wife dislikes me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I mean... I, so, so, okay, so, so if these are human beings, I, you know, the conversation we have could be, look, I know what's going on, and my wife, says Joanne, and... <laughs> And, and let's just let's just you know if I can keep keep it on the download whatever. I'm assuming these are basically independent events, and if I confront her, it's going to be like a big blowout. The way the game works, right? It really depends on her traits and your traits and what she's got to lose. Like it, it, it can it, it makes a roll. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. She currently likes me a whole lot. I mean, despite well, because you covered for her. Sure. <laughs> That's literally, if you mouse over that 100, that's one of the things that she likes you for is because you covered for her. Yeah. <laughs> this character is someone's illicit lover. Someone. Let's not be coy about it. <laughs> um, I mean, does it behoove me to spy on her to make sure it's just my son? This, like, could this situation get worse? I will, look, I'll... I mean, Helgi, Helgi, question. Helgi the Seer will abide a lot, but not... His wife cheating on his son. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's the kind of insane logic yeah, that this guy would think. Take your affairs seriously. <laughs> How could you do this to our son? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Faithless oh, Lord. How could you? How could you cheat on our son? <laughs> There's literally no precedence for this. <laughs> I just I do picture this coming up before like a religious authority and them just going, Oh dear God. Oh <laughs> like, man. <laughs> just instantly getting a migraine when they're reading the case notes. Or Should whatever. we just go ahead and convert the kingdom? This this religion, what are we again? It's not working out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's let's do let's let's let this horror show continue. You know, I did not put ice in my drinks because I didn't want to make noise on the mic, and then I went to go put one of my drinks down without looking and clanged it into the other glass. That'll happen. Oh, well. Sorry you were quiet on the previous streams, by the way. I um, didn't mean I to hide you. Just the last one. Okay, interesting. Uh, That's even weirder, though. How do yeah. how do children do this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, well, and Joanne like, had... had said something in chat that i think she was trying to tell us that i was quiet but she said adam is very soft no aggression and we just went ah oh, yeah I'm, I'm a total soft boy <laughs> yeah no we, to we totally <laughs> thought that was volume. yeah we didn't it didn't even occur to us at all <sighs> um a faction has been created against me new peasant rabble i mean as long as there are 
differing religions in your territory, that's pretty probable. That's that's gonna happen. They're they're pretty manageable problems, honestly. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it was easy enough last time. Yeah. Oh, I've died. Ooh. What? I'm dead. I'm super dead. <laughs> <sighs> So I reigned for, yeah, we started in 867. I reigned for 33 years. You have died. King Kaleva of Finland has given up the ghost at 58 years of age. He died from a seizure. Plagued by demons, he often raved about his imminent doom. Plagued by demons is not a metaphor, I would like to point out. (laughs) Right, no, it's an interpretation. There are are literal demons in the game. Well, for all For all intents and purposes, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, as far as the people in the game are concerned. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, King Petri? Petri? I'm not sure. Um, ascends the, to the throne, having mastered many skills. He is sure to be admired by his subjects. Continuous King. I'm going to go with Petri. Maybe Petri. Petri. I like Petri. Sold. Uh, my, okay, you can actually look at like a nice little breakdown uh, here. Uh, I was cultural head. I had the level of fame illustrious, the level of devotion faithful. Uh, I had the stewardship lifestyle, and I fought in 11 wars, 7 offensive and 4 defensive. Uh, so yeah, that's fun. My next guy is okay, I guess. Also, schemer discovered. My spy master has come to me with grave news. It is my half-brother, Chieftain Belly. That is plotting against my courtier, Fredegund. I don't know who those people are. <laughs> I uh, I don't know her. Okay, my Noadi, which is my um, like uh, religious head. Her name is N A S T I. So. <laughs> The queen of the king who just died, her name was T-I-T-T-I, Queen Titty. And now I have Noidi Nasty. I feel like I'm being punked. <laughs> the Titi Nasty Dynasty. <laughs> oh, I didn't inherit most of my turf because of course I Is that like uh, Grant Dynasty from... <laughs> Castlevania 3. Possibly related. I don't know. What if you, you're the medievalist, Adam. You tell us. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, you see, Castlevania, uh, <laughs> the real place that existed in the Middle Ages. <laughs> oh, man. What is history but a miserable pile of secrets? <laughs> Good poll. Um... Give me a moment. I am yeah, 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 yeah. No, you're you're doing all kinds of stuff. A lot of things. I think my focus is going to be current uh, medicine, scholarship. Okay. You're what an aspiring I... blade master. You're an acute intellectual. Indeed. You're ambitious, Indeed. generous, and fickle. Uh, certainly nothing wrong with that combination. Um. <laughs> I think I'm going to have a theology focus because it'll get me additional piety every month. Um, And I'm almost to the end already of the scholar tree uh, under the learning uh, lifestyle. And so I can jump over to the theologian one and uh, that can make reforming one's religion much, much cheaper uh, if one gets to profit, which could be useful. I don't know if that's going to be this king that does it, but a king eventually shall. And note, I died, and my realm did not fracture. I lost territory within it, to be sure, but it is still one realm. Finland is still a kingdom, and you are the king of it. That that ain't nothing. Indeed. Um, so I did lose the chiefdom, the high chiefdom of Finland, but that's kind of okay. It can be my brother's problem for a while. <laughs> a uh, little fractious at the end of the day yeah I had too many brothers is the problem I'm going to try to fix that going forward oh hey I can take some concubines uh, <laughs> boy never mind no. Um, why no whoa hold on walk me through why that was never mind 
Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, I think, options. Yeah. Uh, your prisoner, your courtier, your courtier, your sister-in-law, and your courtier. Uh, so we could probably see at least a couple of problems with this. Uh, but uh, none of them are actually people that I would like to prioritize generating additional potential heirs and challengers for the throne. Let the record show that the ambassador from Tikva does not understand the problem. <laughs> of we, course not. We've got some problems down here. Um, okay. Uh, council is the next thing. Uh, hopefully, I know this is the, part, the reason I'm hurrying is because the viewer cannot see my screen. <laughs> no, 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 for sure, for sure. But uh, Let, so yeah. what I what I've been fiddling with while you've been talking about this is my my niece just got taken hostage, uh, oh. in, a, in a local skirmish, uh, and I'm seeing if the person who imprisoned her is someone worth declaring war on. Two birds, one stone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, it makes a lot of sense. Okay, I think I've got my council set. What else is going on? I mean, here? really, you should be thanking your niece. <laughs> <laughs> I should. I should. Yeah, she gave you that causes bell eye. Yaralasa. Interestingly, it's not a cost. It's uh, yeah, like no, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't figure it was a mechanical one, uh, unfortunately. But um, learning. Yeah. Okay. Oh wait, wait hang on. Maybe I do need to take a concubine. Uh. Are you in a religion where you lose piety if you don't? Yeah, I don't have the seemly number of concubines. <laughs> There's a de the delicate balance to strike there. Yeah, well, and so the real problem here is that <laughs> the best candidate for concubine here is definitely my sister-in-law. <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> in terms of mechanical advantage. <clears throat> And she unlikeliness to murder me. Wait. Sister-in-law oh, in the sense that it's your wife's sister or your brother's wife? Uh, good question. Um, that does make a difference. She is Jarl, uh, Chieftain Helgi this year's uh, daughter. Oh. So I think she must have been... She was married to my half-brother who died, who got murdered. Okay. Well, that feels Okay, so there's no so there's no problem then. Yeah, slightly less skeevy then. Uh That's a relief. I mean, your brother would be thanking you that you're taking care of her, really. <laughs> Presuming that I am doing so. <laughs> <laughs> uh which may be a big if I don't I haven't lived in this guy's skin for too long, so um Oh, not what I meant to do. Um, okay. Oh, I see. You're the demon that's possessing this line of success. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... That, that is a well-discussed point on this, this stream series, actually. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Alright, do I yet have the seemly number of concubines? Yes. Y'all ever, y'all, y'all ever read the seemly. Pattern Master books? Oh, two is the seemly number. Well, yeah, I mean, for, three would, three would be excessive, and one, what are you, some kind of... Yeah. 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 For, for a king, we should say. For a king. Right, oh, right. Yeah. Uh, probably one would be enough for like a Jarl or something. You know, the riffraff. So, um, um, if you're, if you, when you have a moment, if you want to peek at my screen, uh, this, okay. this, the, where my niece has been taken uh, hostage, is is pretty far away. So this is, well, let's hold on. Let's let's go back here. So Jarl Asa, definitely in prison. You can see her behind the bars and sad. Right, right. If I want to declare war on the chiefess who took her, I think that we we jump right to the high chiefess who she serves. Seems who is well. who is eight? And yeah, you would have to go with Conquer County because the other two are not available to you. And right. I don't think if you hit change objective, that's going to be where you pick where you are trying to go. So which one is it? Milcencia, Milcencia, Milcencia. I don't know how to pronounce that other one. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, third from the top. Um, <laughs> Why bother to learn a foreign language when you can force them to speak yours? <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like you could just trek halfway across 
Eastern Europe and lay siege, you'd be out of supply for a while and suffering. Yeah, pressure. that's that seems tremendously dangerous. <laughs> almost fifteen hundred troops. Yeah. You have. Um, I mean, I ha my military might is greater than theirs, but no, it's not actually. Yeah, this is a bad idea. Well, it is better, but after the march, who knows? Right. Well, and I was gonna say, just trying to ransom her may work. That's true. Not maybe immediately, but eventually they may actually. <laughs> they could just retreat deeper into Russia. That should do it. <laughs> Historically that speaking, that works out you very would well. Be doing in this case. Uh, oh. Yeah. Uh, the call is coming from inside the Russia. <laughs> uh, well, right, it sucks um, because in my experience in crusader kings 2 that tactic does not work against the mongols which is probably why they conquered russia but <laughs> <laughs> oh that is that is one of the real world things ian that that does happen the mongols do show up at some point and it's it's a whole thing yeah uh, i have not experienced it directly in crusader kings 3 yet but i did definitely experience it directly in crusader kings 2 and yeah. it was uh, to um, point a phrase a hassle what uh, science fiction writer Ian M. Banks refers to as an outside context problem. <laughs> there you go. That's well put. It's uh, the type of thing that a civilization encounters once. Yeah, yeah. When <laughs> you are deciding, different. when you were, I was gonna say, when you were deciding how history e you want your playthrough to be, one of the settings is: Does the Mongol invasion happen when it happened, in fact, or does it happen at a random moment? <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. You can also, I think there's an in-between setting where you can be like, it can happen ish. That's right. That's right. Yeah. All right. I think I am as set as I'm going to be. No, yeah. Actually. Okay. No, wait. I do have a scheme. So I got to just kind of wait on that. I got to get my Nwadi to, to like me. Nwadi, however you say that, to like me. And then I can maybe try to start trying to scheme to take back some territory. So we'll see. On pause. Cool. And uh, also, happy new century. Oh, yeah. Faction against me already. Wish I could say I was surprised. But I am not. The 900s, am I right? Right. Oh, Yasa got released. I'm glad I didn't start a war over that. All right. Already got a dangerous faction. Independence faction. Cool. Interesting. Cool, cool. Interesting. My brother... <laughs> literal child another literal <laughs> child and an even younger literal child there have been and again this is not historically inaccurate there's been a lot of baby wars already this playthrough <laughs> is this like the children's crusade <laughs> the kids are not the Generally, ones on the front lines but yeah, sometimes they are the monarchs yeah yeah being either the aggressor or the defender in the war Ugh. designated guardian for who now uh, boy my Okay, so just to bring it all together over here, this event is called Espionage colon Incest. <laughs> I'm sensing an emerging theme for this episode. What is happening? <laughs> While performing her duties as my spy master, my, my sexy spy master that uh, Joanne commented on uh, last time uh, <laughs> has uncovered a secret held by my wife. <laughs> oh, sh thank you, spy master. <laughs> <laughs> she has committed a sin most foul, a crime against Rod himself. Rod? Rod? Okay. I kind of like calling him Rod, like he's just a bro yeah. down the street. Uh, only someone truly sick would engage in carnal relations with their close family. I like that this is news to me over and over and over. Um, <laughs> well, because you covered for them before, now when your spy master finds out, you have to be like, oh my god. Oh, that is <laughs> bang up work. This is shocking. I, we're all trying to figure out who did I'm this. I'm to discover that gambling is going on here. <laughs> yes, that's pretty much the situation. Can I? So yeah, I need to like give her a bonus to really sell it uh <laughs> thank you i will take matters from here oh <laughs> your work is done here i trust you'll keep this close since it is such a secret to everybody <laughs> okay i'm good to continue when you are oh yeah you're paused all right Go cool. cool cool fortunately the sound cue for the game has unpaused is relatively uh audible it's noticeable, uh, in yeah. This particular game, uh, rather than the click that characterized it in Crusader Kings Two, which I mostly played single player, so it wasn't a big problem. But yeah, coordinating on pauses, I could see. Yeah, there's <laughs> there's potential for trolling there, or just like, oops, didn't. Yeah, do totally. That. <laughs> I thought you knew. Well, congratulations! Now you get to win me my kingdom back. Etc. 
right, and well. so on. We're just going to, I guess, be gaining money and prestige at a very low rate for a little while. Oh, but uh, I like both of those things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome to my world. Don't have enough prestige to declare a war. Don't have enough money to do anything with my own crappy kingdom. All right, what secret is this? My secret exposed. My brother and friend, High Chieftain Atso, has revealed that I am seeing High Chieftess Lely in secret. With the truth spreading like wildfire, our passion may not have been as hidden as we would like to believe. So first of all, I don't know who this person is, and I definitely did not decide to initiate this. This was something that the character did before I took over. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, oh. Shaggy, with your it wasn't me. All right, fine. Hang on. Um, That's his wife. This is, this is my brother's wife that mm. I have been having an affair with. Oh, cool. And I'd like to point out, she is currently pregnant. Oh, mm. boy. So, sure who? Yeah. <laughs> An unrelated <laughs> note. <laughs> I'm sure it has nothing to do with this. Tug's collar. Um, <laughs> Which brother? Just so I can put a visual on the uh, screen. High Chieftain Atso of Finland. So he okay. is the High Chief of the that guy. So, of Finland. gotcha. So we're talking about High Chiefess uh, Lely of Finland. Yes, okay. that is indeed her. Okay. She's a rational yeah. adventurer, which I feel like is the name of a subreddit I have come across at some point. <laughs> Quite the fun part That's, it's here, definitely a YouTube channel that reviews movies. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the funny part here is um, that my only option for proceeding is who are they to judge in Tarot Bang? Hibbly. <laughs> Hibbly. <laughs> uh, which uh, makes the. Uh, my wife and my brother both dislike me quite a bit um and then i dislike my brother quite a bit for exposing my secret <laughs> if i didn't already know that you're an english teacher <laughs> <laughs> um there was an event hiding underneath that one however that says this child of mine hmm my lover, High Chiefess Lely, has been showing the signs of pregnancy for some time now. My suspicions about me being the father of the child have grown in tandem with her stomach. Now I know for certain, as does the rest of the realm, the child is mine. And it says, uh, it is better this way, surely. High Chiefess Lely's unborn child will be known to have been conceived outside of wedlock. Oh boy. I know that feeling. So. I'll say I'll say this for our our messy drama down here Very in Tikvin. Relatable. Here in Tikvin, we keep our we keep our shit in the family. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, literally, <laughs> not figuratively. <laughs> no, that's not an. I mean, it is an idiom, but it is not just an idiom. Yeah. While you puzzle over this, give me give me one moment to get a beer. I'm gonna refill yeah, uh, refill my goblet. I will read the next little thing here, which is my wife reacting to this. Ooh, I mean, yeah, okay, I'll be right back. Yeah. Unfaithful. My wife, Richeza's tears, hurt far worse than harsh words ever could. I stand crestfallen as she wipes her cheeks with a handkerchief. I know I might not be the perfect wife, but I deserve better than this. We both do. I beg of you, come to your senses and leave that bore. It is not too late to make things better. And yes, B O A R, bore oh, as okay. in the animal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that took a turn. My options here are I will do anything to deserve your forgiveness, which stops me and Lely being lovers, and uh, High Chief's, uh, Queen Raichesa uh, loses the unfaithful opinion penalty towards me, or I cannot deny my feelings for Lely. I would lose. 10 more opinion from my wife because she is disgusted and uh or i would lose uh, 10 opinion of her sorry because i am apparently disgusted and she would lose 20 more opinion of me for refusing to renounce my lover this seems like an easy calculation honestly yeah yeah i would say i will do anything to deserve your forgiveness and my niece has been taken prisoner but i have bigger fish to fry sorry <laughs> yeah when you're when you're the ruler of a country, feelings can't really factor into it. Yeah. Well, cer certain ones clearly do. I'm not entirely sure I've ever met that girl, and you know, I it's mean, not gonna, like, yeah, rule it's, anything. So it's like it's one of those things where it's like, it's um, God, what was that game, Catherine? You can't oh. decide. You can't decide whether or not to cheat on your girlfriend. You can only decide how you handle it. Right. 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 Yeah. 
That oh. game to me is the ultimate example of like this. All of this could be solved with two honest sentences. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Well, and that's that's. You know, I guess I haven't finished it, but but you know I have played it, and part of the interesting thing about it is kind of some of the interesting thing about this is just that Vincent is kind of an asshole, and you're just along for the ride. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You just kind of have to like decide how you know all right well i'm here what the hell do i do what become flavor a, become of a, become a demon sex god that's what you do <laughs> yeah i mean you can be a demon sex god you can be a reluctant demon sex god um <laughs> this is what we call uh, agency and immersion in the game design world <laughs> yeah um i probably need to get back to that game at some point uh i'm just really bad at cubert so that game was hard as shit. Like, in addition to the the weird emotional stuff and the, the souped-up Catholic imagery and whatever, it was just, like, the difficulty... Like, it starts hard, and it only gets way harder. It's crazy, yeah. crazy hard, Cubert. Um, pausing. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm not... Certainly not the first one, and, and probably Extra Credits wasn't the first ones to, to call it this either, but uh, their turn of phrase, Survival Horror Cubert. Yeah, uh, was a, a pretty good one. <laughs> that is that, is, that paints a picture. Whoop. All right, let's see. Um, cool. I had zero percent contribution to this war that is now over, and it doesn't matter anymore. Groovy. So huzzah! I'm pausing. Real quick. Um, what is the mechanical difference between subjugating someone and conquering their county? Um, okay, oh, I so, see. I gotcha, gotcha. So I can make him my vassal and take right. his primary title, or I can just gain one territory from him. I understand. So if you can subjugate somebody who is, has a lot of territory, it's a really efficient way of getting a bunch all at once um, and eliminating that person as a territorial or political rival, but now you have them within your country and they hate you because you conquered them. Understood. All right, I'm going to have to be narrow just for the amount of... Uh... Yeah, just what I have to spend. Okay. Right, right. But you know what? Let's do it. Let's. Actually, <laughs> just double quick real quick. Oh, this, I think I can. I don't think this 15-year-old is going to cause me too much trouble. Uh, I believe that she is on your side. But it says he's an ally of the person. Oh, my allies got it. Yes, yes. Yeah. UI fail me. Okay, cool. Um. To be fair, the UI here does require attentive reading. <laughs> Okay. War were declared. Twer. Should I leave some folks at home? Or, uh, just... I mean, how many troops does your opponent have to call upon? It's a good question. I think it wasn't that many. Well, we got, like, a Lord of the Rings soundtrack going now. Well, that's wall. 78. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't think they're going to be able to siege your capital with 78 troops, even if they get behind your lines. So you're probably all right. Okay. Generally speaking, I find splitting my forces not to be especially effective until I have quite a few troops. Sure. Okay. Good uh, to start the clock. This is probably like going to be a short war. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. Of thousands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I tried a bullhorn maneuver at one point, and it I, it resulted in one of the two being wiped out, and then the other being wiped out. So yeah, yeah we don't do that much anymore. Here we go. It can work. Uh, it just requires basically that you be at or above the supply limits that you're um, moving through. You really need a feel for the timing of how long it takes units to get from place to place. Because that was where I that was where I fucked up. It looked to me like the two different groups were going to get where they were going at the same time. Yeah. And that was not the case. <laughs> well, and you can examine that. Like, if mm -hmm. you've given somebody move orders, you can see exactly when they will arrive. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I know that now. <laughs> of course well, now you know so my spy master <laughs> has discovered you're not going to believe this but <laughs> oh boy. not only is my wife cheating but my son oh man what <sighs> dang only someone truly I, my spy master deserves <laughs> just a just a, a club med vacation <laughs> with all the trimmings <laughs> she's very judgmental too <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> I mean, Oof. you know, I try not to kink shame, but <laughs> I will be honest. You know, incest seems squick me out. Yeah, you know, not not my thing. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, I, let it be clear to the viewer, this is not incest play. This is like yeah, actual, this factual. Is... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and I mean, if you're, if you, I'm restarting the clock, by the way. Um, you know, you, you want to say whatever you want to say between people. Like, you do you. Do you. Um, oh, you've had a war, you have had a war declared on you. Yeah, by. By my leash. Yeah, you are weak and I am strong. There is no other justification needed for me to come and take what I wish from you. So we may end up uh, uh, owing allegiance to the same dude. <laughs> Let's see um, how this goes, huh? Because somehow he does have like 4,300 troops. What do you have currently? Uh, not that many. Mm. Oops, wrong, wrong interface element. Can I can um, I be a turncoat? Is that an option? Is there a way to do that? I don't that? think so. I have mm. 1,734 troops available currently. Yeah, that sounds bad. And I genuinely don't know where all those troops are coming from. He's got 417 from an ally. Is it counting then, mine, maybe? Because I could just sit on my hands. Maybe. Uh, 2,900 himself. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the... Maybe the um. Uh, there's a word for it. Uh, men at arms are mm. uh, being factored in in a particularly odd way here. Maybe I can increase. Do I have enough to increase the size of my men at arms regiments? What would what would counter the archers light cavalry would? Or do I just want more archers so that I can compete in the skirmish phase? This is the part of this game that, like, the weapon triangle stuff that I have no head for. Yeah. When I lost my war spectacularly, it was because I, I fucked this part up very badly. Yeah, well, and I... It was completely opaque to me in Crusader Kings 2. The only way I won battles in Crusader Kings 2 was I have more people by a lot. Uh, I mean, that's a... Uh, <laughs> historically a very solid tactic. That's a tried and true yeah. technique, yeah. So I didn't really engage with tactics there because Paradox has struggled with this and actually a lot of their grand strategy games is making the combat systems make any sense at all. Uh, just try to intuit by looking at what happens, what's going on in Europa Universalis 4, for instance. Um, I did one time and then I took a nap. Yeah, exactly. I, I just stopped playing the game. I was like, I outnumbered them three to one and I lost in two days. I don't know what's happening. So I'm going to go back to Crusader Kings 2. Uh, but this one I have a little bit more insight in because they have made an effort to improve its overall understandability. Um, mm -hmm. But I could not call myself an expert. So I think I'm going to increase the size of my Metsanvartia. Metsanvartia? Uh, Men at Arms? Those forest wardens that cause you so much trouble. Oh, yeah. Uh, you were being conquered by Estonia because light cavalry does counter archers, but it has all kinds of terrain uh, problems. Whereas the uh, Metsanvartia do not. They only have advantages in Forest and Taiga and no disadvantages elsewhere. So I think I'm going to try that. Uh, I can really only increase them once. But it is 100 extra troops and good ones at that, so uh, let's see. Um, that's planes, that's planes, that's planes. I'd be showing this to the viewer, but I think fog of war wise, there's not much of what you're yeah. wrestling with that I can see. I'm basically like just trying to find maps. where my taiga begins so that I can drop a rally point there and defend myself in the best possible spot. Sure. Um, I don't really have any allies. I'm new to the throne. Yeah, we may both be uh, vassals of Estonia sometimes. That would, from a storytelling perspective, that would be an interesting turn. True. Uh, it would also make uh, the king of Estonia have two kingdom titles, which means that they would probably split up again when he dies, uh, because I think he's also tribal. Oh, that is interesting. Um, hmm. Yeah, he's a tribal kingdom. So if he, yeah, he already has Novgorod and Estonia, and two adult sons. So, sorry four adult sons so he could have up to four kingdoms that would still split when he dies uh and, and he knows it too look at look at that guy look at that look at that yeah. shifty king nalka yeah uh, man he uh looks like he needs to sleep more <laughs> he does he looks like yeah. he has laughed much and slept little yeah 
Uh, all right, so I'm raising my armies here. We'll see how it goes. I have decent champions, I think, but not a lot of prestige to spare, honestly. Um, so let's see if I can pull a uh, high chiefess Virga and prevail despite numerical inferiority. Yeah, a, a lot is made of the fact that like, like political marriages are like just part of history, but this weird calculus about how many and what kind of children to have doesn't come up as much. Right, yeah, well, because in, in terms of a, a monarch, you wanted to just have a bunch of children uh, mm -hmm. because who knows when any of them could die. But historically, um, in Eastern Europe and Russia especially, one of the problems was Gavilkin's succession, that each child, each male child of legitimate birth got an equal slice of the territory mm -hmm. and you can imagine that, <laughs> that having more than problem. one son yeah like you know there are people living in russia today who can technically claim to be a prince of like five acres uh <laughs> you know because it just kept the the power kept evolving and kept evolving uh and you know this was maybe not like terrible in an abstract moral sense but it was a problem for those princes who were trying to consolidate uh political and economic power as a matter of historical fact the way this got solved and i'm, I'm wiggling my fingers i'm scare quoting that was just by sure. someone becoming powerful enough to basically end cavalcan succession and hold on to more territory right right yeah no i i mean um you know this uh not a one-man job but um you know ivan the terrible uh basically just terrorized the boyars into going with rule changes and i mean like literally secret police terrorized them so you know again he yeah. was more of the culmination of a process but uh is my understanding but, so the question yeah. in this playthrough is are we <laughs> which one of us is going to be ivan the terrible and or get ivan the terribled yeah, well, and, you know, uh, there is a path here where if I manage to hold on to my title and, you know, get to the correct places in, like, the um, cultural development paths and stuff, that there can be a, a version of this where, you know, I become feudal and, you know, raise crown authority and nobody has to get, like, kidnapped in the middle of the night and tortured until they agree to, you know, do my thing. But, you know, sure, sure. it could also go the other way. <laughs> I realize the best way I can illustrate this Gavilkin succession thing is by showing what titles I will lose when the seer mm. dies. Indeed. Currently, yeah. Yeah, well, and I, you can't see it necessarily directly on your map, but I went from having, um, in my last king, eight counties and two jarldoms to having one jarldom and one county. Uh, all of the other stuff went to my brothers. Actually, real quick, you know, what were you going to say? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I did hold on to the kingship, so. Yeah, so, like, we could change to a single realm heir, but uh, we would need to establish crown authority. Uh, we would need uh, we would need to change all kinds of things about our culture, and we would need way more mm -hmm. prestige. Yeah, um, yeah that, so you, that, need, uh, that, that takes a very short amount of time, right? Yeah, no, I mean, changing the culture of a society by the end of, of by the end of this episode. Yeah, I think we'll I think we'll nail it. The first thing you have to do is move from being tribal to being feudal, and then you have to get most of the way through the, the um, feudal era culture advancement list. And you also have to have high crown authority and enough prestige. And in, in addition and, to all those sort of mechanical milestones you have to, along the way, be powerful enough to counter all the people who are going to be mad at you for doing all these things. Exactly, and, and keep your realm together despite the fragmentation. Yeah, yeah. And then in return, you get to deal with succession crises. Now, yeah. so, now that's the ticket. <laughs> you you know, primogeniture, uh, as the British showed, uh, is uh, really good at consolidating land and power in aristocratic hands. And hey, my hands in this game are aristocratic, so... <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I have kept the game paused long enough for fear that Estonia is going to steamroll me. So no, that's reasonable. That could be that could be rip run to a certain degree, <laughs> or it could simply yeah. be a big change. So yeah, it makes it yeah, makes sense. Yeah, we'll, yeah. We will see what happens. Unpausing. All right. Meanwhile, my stupid little war. 
I, uh, I'll probably watch a, a, a movie <laughs> Is that the title Combat. of your next album? <laughs> it's, my, it's my anime, actually. <laughs> oh, perfect. So my war is small and stupid, so what? <laughs> um, okay, hold on. I'm at 50% war score. I just got to figure out where else I need to attack here. I swear to God, if I see them getting into boats... Or, wait, hang on. What's my... Um, Ukonusko... Uh, oh, it's an he's ancestor. Fleeing, he's fleeing the interview. <laughs> I, uh, I swear to my ancestors, if I see him get into ships, I'm going to be real mad. You swear to those ancestors. By the way, all that's left for me to win this war is a quick, a quick siege of Vologda. Yeah, I mean, seven months. Not too bad for a siege. <laughs> yeah. The sieges go. I'll probably send some reinforcements. I don't think they'll be taking the war to me. Yeah, I know. I think you're probably all right. Uh, do check the supply limit there, though. See if eighty one is going to put you over. That's a good point, actually. Yeah. Maybe I just won't do that. I doubt it would speed up the siege. Yeah, uh, that's until a good you point. have siege engines or commanders that uh, alter the the <sighs> landscape, for lack of a better word. <laughs> if I were in a 10th century siege, I would simply invent explosives. <laughs> <laughs> where's that button? Where's where's that where's that mod? Where's that DLC? Look, I understand how gunpowder works, so surely I can make it work in this game. <laughs> Plot hole. <laughs> oh god, that's like um that's like a uh uh Confederate Yankee in King Arthur's court. Oh, <laughs> but, totally. Uh, yeah, yeah. I um I you know, I say that, but uh one of the ways that you could be assassinated or do assassinations in Crusader Kings 2 was by uh piling up just a, like a ton of dung under the floorboards of an inn where your target was stopping and then blowing them up. <laughs> Solid strat. Fifth yeah. um, of November style. Yeah, exactly. I kind of wish that the the plot to blow up the Houses of Parliament had been executed with dung instead of gunpowder. That would actually be. <laughs> Imagine if we had uh, the fertilizer plot <laughs> instead oh of the gunpowder plot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, they they talk about it like it's the bullshit plot anyway. So. <laughs> Yeah, what if it was literal? I found out today that on the 400th anniversary of, uh, of the whole Guy Fox thing, there was a, like, quasi-oratorio song cycle thing written about it with, like, the King Singers and John Dowland playing lute. And it's not quite as cool as I'm making it sound, but it's, it's reasonably cool. It, it sounds, uh, you know, also kind of, like, inherently absurd, which is also fun. It, I wish it were sillier. That's exactly what was disappointing. Uh... Yeah. It's a little bit too um, dignified. I wanted it to be like, you know, like, yeah, fuck that guy. You know what I mean? I wanted it to, I yeah. wanted it to be a hit job, but it wasn't right. quite. Yeah. I'm ready to go if you are. Yeah, let's do this thing. Hey, Catholics, we still hate you. <laughs> basically, basically. I mean, it is it is anti-Catholic in the sense of like it is it is virulently anti uh, like, you know, congregants not being able to read the Bible and like mass in secret. And like that's that's what really went wrong here and all that. Um, mm. Yeah. Oh God damn it! They did get in boats, <sighs> and I'm they're sorry. going to a non-Taiga area. I hate this. Uh, On the plus side, my my steward raised taxes, so not only did I gain money, but because I am greedy, I lost thirty-five stress. Oh, nice. That's actually <laughs> really funny. <laughs> okay, let me actually. You know what I could do theoretically? Mm -hmm. I think this is my hail mary. I think this is my best chance. I am going to go around them. Oh, that's interesting. And I am going to siege their capital <laughs> while they try to make it to mine. Because if I'm the closer to their capital, than the enemy's gate is down. <laughs> this is so, this is referred to as the Pac-Man uh, maneuver, I believe, by military historians. <laughs> no one's right. minding the big dots. I just um. I don't think I can beat them in a fight. I don't think I can keep them from winning this war until he dies or whatever. I mean, he's not like ancient. Uh, well, he's 60, but um, I think I have to try to go for his, his capital. Let's see if it works. Yeah. Uh, probably what's going to happen is while I'm sieging it, he's going to jump back in his boats and come wreck me. But, you know, chance I'll take, I guess. That what's to be wrecked. <sighs> I mean... I'm probably gonna get wrecked whether I want yeah, to. Yeah, this or not. is this is this is the uh, this is the Ender's Game strategy. <laughs> kinda, huh? Kinda, yeah. Uh, it's also, uh, if you'll you'll pardon the weak wordplay, the reckoning. 
<laughs> man. On <Boo>. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Pretty much. Like, l listen, I don't, I don't, un like, you know, historically, puns were considered the highest form of humor, and puns are still very popular in other languages. Why is it that it, it, it's like only in modern English are they looked down upon, and I don't understand why. It's because we hate fun in ourselves. <laughs> I guess. I was going to say Protestantism. Yeah, yeah, well, okay, that's, that's, <laughs> we're saying the same thing, but you're saying yeah. it in a more historically situated way. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to pause for a second just because I can unlock a martial lifestyle perk, and also I have a camp dispute. So after my army sets up camp, I hear a commotion coming from my champion's lodgings. Investigating the disturbance, I find Rurik and Rurik in the middle of a heated argument <laughs> while several onlookers edge them on. Um, it's a very popular name in uh, in yeah. my family. Uh, yeah, this is my... This guy's name is Rurik, Rurik, and Rurikin. <laughs> yes, yes it is. <laughs> He's just Rurik Cube. You got a you got a problem with that? <laughs> no. Nope. I wish he liked me better because I like his name a whole lot. <laughs> it's great. <clears throat> okay. Um, I think I may take this opportunity while you solve this problem to run to the restroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. Uh, just you know, leave it pause because uh, they have split into armies. That one of which I maybe could defeat. We'll see. I'm not going to let your war become an idle game. Don't worry. I'll <laughs> I'll keep it paused. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, at, at one point, at one point, the strongest man in the world was Magnus Magnuson. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I knew that. Yes. Yeah, I've heard that name. But was um, his middle name also Magnus? <laughs> because... and, I don't know. Uh, I was gonna say, if you can turn my war into an idle game, that means I could just pay ten dollars and automatically win. <laughs> you know, would be tempting at this point, but I'll be back. Cool. The microtransactions of history. <laughs> I achieved Virgis, Still doesn't like me. Virga probably. Okay, what can I do about this? So, let's see. I can uh, do a diplomacy challenge. Um, we'll try to talk him down. Yes, um, let's, do a, let's do a diplomacy. <laughs> I could try and do a diplomacy. I could also have them whipped for delinquency, which is the non-diplomatic option. Um, it does give me dread, which can be handy. Uh, neither of them like me very much, um, if I do that. Um, Rurik... Rurik Helgeson Rurikid currently likes me a whole lot. Rurik Rurikson Rurikid currently really ha like, hates me almost as much as a person can be hated in this game. Or I can say fuck it, in which case I spend spend some prestige. Um, I don't think I want to do that. I mean, I think I attempt the speech. Speech. How is my diplomacy? Let's let's actually let's make this let's make a slightly informed decision here. Um, let's move that out of the way. Let's check out my dude. My diplomacy is fine. It's not bad. Um, I'm smart, and my spouse is good, so she'll whisper smart stuff in my ear, but wow, being a legitimized bastard makes people look down on me, I guess, and my greed makes me a worse diplomat. Okay, uh, let's try it. King of Dragon Pass. I get up and deliver a speech about how we are all fighting for the chiefdom of Tikvin and how we must stand united against our foes. For if we don't, there are many outsiders who would take advantage of our internal squabbles to seize our lands and impose their rule upon us. Looking abashed, Rurik and Rurik apologize and get ready to settle in for the night. We're stronger when we stand together. Cool. So they, they like me and I gain some prestige, which I could, uh, could really use. I didn't have much. Uh, great. That went well. Holy shit, something went well. <laughs> oh, I yeah. I it sound like uh, XCOM. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it, it. the two the games are not, like, unrelated, like, in terms of the emotional journey you mm -hmm. go back on. I um, should probably just keep working on the martial lifestyle. What does Gallant do for me again? <laughs> Blade studying intensifies. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Um, we'll do this never back down thing here. Take fewer casualties. Which seems like the opposite of what never backing down would actually do, but it's fine. It's just the name of the skill. It's like, now we never have to back down, because never, I don't know. Never back down. Never don't surrender. <laughs> Commerce in town. You were going somewhere very different than I, I I'm picking up. <laughs> I'm picking up what you're putting down. If you happen to have the sound on, you who are watching on Periscope, hello. We see you there. We don't know who you are, but we thank you for watching. And they're gone. That's the nature of Periscope. 
thank you for watching. Okay. Bye. Okay, thanks. Okay, have a good night. Oh, man. Keep it, keep uh, I, it kingy. I barely, I barely remember Periscope. No one has Periscope, but lots of people have Twitter. So if you stream this thing to Periscope, it'll show up as a... Uh, in a tweet, not as a video preview that you have to click on, but as a video in progress, you can watch a couple seconds of before oh. scrolling onto your next oh, cat picture. You're saying, you're saying Periscope still exists. It does. I, I assure you that it does. <laughs> so I'm going to be honest. I had heard you talk about Periscope before. I had no idea what it was. I was just like, oh, yeah, an Internet thing that has a name about viewing things. It's related to streaming. Eh, I can kind of grok it. <laughs> Facebook Live is a ripoff of Periscope. It just it outlived Periscope. So that's, you know, it's like it's got all the same features as that, basically. Cool, because I'm definitely encountered Facebook Live directly. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let I'm me that person six more metaphors to download Facebook as an app or Messenger as an app. I use the web interface and it gets shittier every day. And when it finally breaks, I will no longer have a Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, same. I don't have I, 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 um, I don't have the Facebook I mean, app on pretty... my phone. So if I need to do Messenger, I got to wait till I'm in front of a computer because I'm not going it, to it'll actually block you from yeah. using Messenger through a, a web browser on your phone. Indeed, it will. <laughs> Ian, you had a com I... you had a comment. We can, we oh, can... I'm saying it's, it, it is useful to have so you can find out which of your relatives are racist. <laughs> See, all of my relatives have unfollowed me because, uh, well, I uh, am unapologetic in my post to Facebook about things that are utter bullshit, and some mm -hmm. of them are pretty dedicated to those utter bullshit. <laughs> sure, and sure. others are just tired of seeing a bunch of political shit every day, and it makes them tired, and I don't blame them. But yeah, that, none of my relatives follow me on Facebook anymore. They're, we're still friends, technically, but we don't see each other. Exactly. So. Okay. <laughs> Facebook has become Thanksgiving with two tables so gradually. Yeah. That we hardly even noticed. So while you were gone, uh, this absolute unit did something right. Uh, managed to talk down two of the Ruricks in the family uh, who were having a squabble. Everybody likes me better. I gained some prestige. Everything is just great for once. I assume now those two Ruricks will start sleeping together. But for now, everything is fine. <laughs> I mean, look, best case scenario, you're pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Your entire right. family tree will slowly start to share a bedroom without you. <laughs> Big House of Usher energy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, shall we? Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see how this goes. Because they are going to win the siege that they're doing before I am able to win this siege. But they won't be taking my capital, and I'll be taking their capital. So we'll see. And if they suffer enough attrition, then maybe. Win the Let's battle, see. lose the war. Maybe. The blessing of ignorance. So this is an event? The unexpected virtue of event. ignorance. <laughs> yeah. Out of wedlock, High Chiefess Lely has given birth to our daughter. Though I ought to be joyful, my heart is heavy with doubt and fear. So it will stay until I have made my decision. The child's name is Meta. Uh, or Meta, maybe, I don't know. Uh, she is beautiful, evidently. I guess you can tell on a newborn. <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> um, I can. I will legitimize her as my own, which costs a hundred and fifty prestige. Yeesh! Wow. Steep. Um, that's for 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 reference. That's like three times what it will often cost to start a fucking war. Yeah. Oh, wow. no. So the, this, the people the people are against it then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am gaining, well, okay, at the moment I'm losing one prestige mod, but when I'm not at war and supporting troops, I am gaining, like, 1.8 prestige a month, and it costs, yeah, 375 to declare a war for a, a duchy or a jarldom. Totally, yeah, I, that's true. I've been declaring cheap wars. You make a reasonable point. I'm, I've only been declaring county-level wars, which is roughly 50 prestige. Yeah, well, and if you're declaring them against somebody who shares your religion, it can be piety, which is actually really useful because I don't have as much use for piety. Yeah, uh, true. Currently. But, uh, yeah, this is very expensive. It makes my daughter like me more, and she gains a milder form of the is a bastard trait. Uh, <laughs> she's, only, she's, she's only slightly a bastard. Yeah, a legitimized bastard. Right, uh, right. No, I know all about but, that status because I believe that's my situation. I believe so. Yeah. yeah. Or, or are you child of concubines? 
I am a legitimized bastard currently. Oh, you're I think I think um, my initial dude was the child of a concubine. Ah, uh, possibly. Yeah. In any case, um, it's a steep cost to legitimize her, and I cannot afford it. I would literally go a hundred into the negative, and my armies would disband, <laughs> which would be bad. So I cannot dishonor my family by legitimizing a bastard. I am sorry, Beta. Fucking uh, cold, Adam. Yeah, I know. Um, I will try to make up for it by securing for her a decent education. <laughs> oh, and you can legitimize bastards later on. So yeah, you can. You can. You know, this will build character. <laughs> a statement that's always true. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy had a good reason for abandoning him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, man. Why'd you name me Sue? Uh, in any case, <laughs> unpausing. And, cool. Uh, happy March. Happy March. <laughs> I mean, it's always March, man. <laughs> this is now the 350th day of March, isn't it? So I'm going to yeah. give you, don't, don't look, don't look at my stream. What do you think my okay. event is called? Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know. Scions of the Elder Gods? <laughs> <laughs> Great guess. No, it's... Closer. Espionage lovers. So <laughs> while performing her duties, my spy master has uncovered a secret held by my champion Drevenus. He has secretly taken Maria, a commoner from Yenizno, uh, Genen- Genizno, uh, as a lover. Nizno. Nizno, thank you. God, I'm going. Uh, so the. Go on. Maybe Nizno. Nizno. I like I like Nizno. I don't know if it's right, but I like the way it sounds. Nizno. Mm-hmm. So the issue, so the issue is that she's a commoner. Yeah, or I that they're not married. Yeah, oh, okay. I think I think both are things. I mean, and this this is this doesn't matter too much. Just now, I know a secret. So if I need something from this dude, oh. uh, I now have a hook, as they're called in the game. I know okay. she's a spy master, but it seems like all she have... finds out is affairs. Like, where are the assassination plots? Where are the other <laughs> vices like drunkenness or witchcraft? Why is she only ever? happening upon people uh she likes to watch man you make a reasonable point i mean voyeurism is participation but you make a reasonable point which is that this family is lousy with witches and she has (laughs) never figured it out um okay i got a hook on my champion that's fine uh they're both in their 60s or he's in his 50s she's in her 60s i'd like to point out so that's you know that's 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 kind of nice yeah it's an autumn winter romance yeah (laughs) All right. <laughs> Shall we continue? Yeah. I can't talk. I'm rapidly aging. <laughs> you have gained the trait dying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if the game was honest, you would have that from the moment you were born. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Your dying trait has leveled up, more like. There you go. <laughs> exactly. Uh, oh, um, my uh, newest concubine, uh, the the Rurikid one, is pregnant. <laughs> uh, you lost has right hand. That's a very <laughs> silly way to say that. <laughs> that. That again sounds like a dwarf fortress. Yeah, <laughs> it uh, very lock, much lock does. Line. That that does. Um, oh, and here we're right so, okay. So so I didn't actually lose my right hand. I lost my right hand man. I lost the trait. Uh, has right hand because my right hand man died. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. okay. I did. I did think this was a dwarf fortressy way of saying that I had lost a limb in battle. Okay, please continue. <laughs> I I am worried about this siege currently. Mm, I mean, that's reasonable. Yeah. I wish you all the luck. I would show this on stream, but fog of war. I can't really see what's happening. Right. Yeah. Uh, it is taking a long time, which is understandable. It's a siege, but it's not taking them as long a time as I was hoping it would. Pneumonia, my poor son. Today I was given grave news. My son and heir, Heralder, has fallen ill with pneumonia. I mean, with the schedule he's been keeping, you know? Right. If you don't have your health, you don't have anything. The future is uncertain. Death lingers closely by his bedside, yet he might survive. Only Sud knows. The physician wants to know how my son should be treated. So we could be cautious, do more, no more than is necessary. Um... Yeah, we don't. So, Honestly, so what's gonna happen given. is opaque. Yes, this is true. I could say uh, there will be no treatment, <laughs> which <laughs> you want to get rid of him. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, the time has come for drastic measures. Uh, they can be drastic in either direction. I think I've told the, the yarn before on this about how I had a guy who just, in getting drastic cancer treatments year after year, uh, lost bits until he finally died after having his face cut off. Um, but, you know, they can also help quite a bit. Uh, you know, sometimes both at once. Oh, your treatment was amazing, but also you are now missing an arm. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, could, could it also ha both happen? Uh, there, I was gonna say that based on medieval superstitions about disease, he's very lucky he doesn't have leprosy. Mm, sure. Uh, yeah, you just eat. Uh, you just eat some moldy bread and you're fine. <laughs> I heard that. I think I saw that on TikTok. Oh, <laughs> uh, <this is> my <laughs> fine. If I, I would simply invent antibacterial. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I, I was gonna say my imaginary TikTok is all sea shanties at the moment. So unless someone makes someone up about penicillin. <laughs> I wouldn't learn anything like that. Note to self, write C shanty about penicillin. <laughs> so I expect to see this eventually, <laughs> by the way. And pictures of Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> so have you have you gotten an event like this? What happens if you say it's up to him? I mean, is it just another role where he he basically makes the choice I could have made? Yeah, uh, based on his personality and traits, he will make the choice for himself which type of treatment he gets. Gotcha. Which of these would influence medical knowledge? Presumably, learning. Learning would influence. And medical he's a knowledge, he's a big true. he's a big dummy wummy. Um, yeah. um, and then treacherous lackey and arbitrary. It would probably just be a coin flip, honestly. Okay. Uh, I, and again, I'm not saying this out of a knowledge of the inner workings of the game. I am working on guesswork and intuition sure i have one other inner workings of the game question though and maybe you don't know this either but how serious is pneumonia like am i supposed to be grokking this as like oh, oh shit he's dying oh, okay you can see that open his character sheet back up oh i see oh i can gotcha gotcha has gained the trait pneumonia yeah gotcha gotcha, gotcha. Go. this That's is what pneumonia does. means i gotcha yeah and then if you look at his character sheet you can see what it, where it leaves his health overall i see by hovering over that little heart gotcha gotcha this guy yeah Health, so, fine. And he's getting a critical penalty. That, that, that may, may, fine may, may decrease once the time starts up again. <laughs> sure. Uh, based sure. on having pneumonia. Okay. I mean, I based on the information I have, it doesn't seem like the time has come for drastic measures. Although it does say that death lingers closely by his bedside. <laughs> um, boy, if he's not my heir, things get worse. But he also sucks. Let's do some drastic measures. There you go. Successful he treatment. He gained greatly uh, reduced disease symptoms for a year. So, yeah. Uh, cool. Looks like he's got a decent chance of pulling through. Maestrista uh, has always been loved. She's great. Okay. Yeah, she's 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 a, a good, uh, good physician. Yeah. 45, unmarried, great physician, cool headband, just living her best life. Okay. Good to continue <laughs> when you are. In a way that your rulers often aren't. Honestly. Holy shit! <laughs> I'm pausing. Let's do it. All right, back to my back to my tiny siege. Oh god! Oh god! Damn it! What now? War declared. Answer. Greetings, King Patriot of Finland. Oh god! You are weak, and I am strong. There is no other justification needed for me to come and take what I wish from you. The Wolodot Finnish subjugation war. Well, hopefully they fucking fight each other. Yeah, I was gonna say, is this the, is this like when Jim Sterling gets so many copyright claims against against their channel that that no one can enforce theirs? <laughs> like, have you are they all trying to get through the same doorway oh, right. at the same They're time? All against each other. Yeah, yeah. Well, the problem here is that they are coming in from the north and the south, the extreme north and south of my territory simultaneously. So I am probably just fucked, but. One thing at a time, I guess. If I can knock Estonia out of the war, which is really doubtful, then I have closer to troop parity with Gwiladot. But Gwiladot is closer to my capital, so we'll see. I wish you all the luck. Before we unpause, let me see if I can afford any mercenaries. Uh, I doubt it. I am pretty poor. But maybe I can afford just some mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> I would simply invent credit. <laughs> so you can go into debt. However, 
it has pretty disastrous effects after about six months. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> I would sim I would simply invent Keynesian economics. One of the uh, one of the DLCs for the, the first game, or I say the first game for Crusader Kings two, the, the actual like beginning of this game's uh, principles. Um, it, they added in Jewish characters, and one of the things you could do is borrow money from Jewish money Oh owners. boy! <laughs> um, and if you couldn't pay it back. Uh, when the time came, like you could either go like into the red trying to pay it back, or uh, you could engage in some good old fashioned anti Semitism uh, and get out of your debt that way and then just never be able to borrow money again uh, in that fashion. So I was, I was off the Crusader Kings 2 train by the time that came out, I believe. This is one of those classic depiction is not endorsement things, right? Because it was like the, the fact that, you know, introducing anti anti-semitic rhetoric was in there like it like the way the game depicted from what i saw was very like this is this is an underhanded thing you're doing it wasn't like oh yes yeah yeah, sure. yeah 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 um you know the the game doesn't often do a lot of out of character editorializing right characters will have opinions on things uh you know as you've seen with your spy master uh but um you know, it doesn't often do a lot of editorializing outside of that. Uh, but yeah, it very much depicted it as like, this was on, on your decisions tab and like, you, know, you could, uh, you know, be like, oh, well, I'm just not gonna pay my debts. Uh, it was, you know, conceived of as a, uh, again, like, you know, you're you're a rascal here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Case. Uh, the other thing I think that it would try to, if I was a developer of that content in Crusader Kings 2 that I might say to defend it, which is not saying that it, it, it is necessarily a particularly good or bad defense, is that uh, that wasn't the only Jewish-related content added in that expansion. Totally, totally. Uh, if, if, if it was like, we patched in Jews and they're all bankers, that would have been... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lauren and I have been working our way through the, the Clone Wars, the, and the Star Wars mm -hmm. animated series, and there's some good stuff. There's basically like an upstairs-downstairs episode where... C-3PO and R2-D2 have to plan a banquet and that's that you know, shit like that is great but there's also like they fall back on when there's a new character it's just like what cartoon voice you got you got an Italian guy sure do Italian guy right like so uh... so sometimes that's fine and sometimes it's like there are these characters who are the banking clan and they're like humanoids with long faces and big noses and it's like we, like, like, bro, Jar Jar was already here you didn't have to add then racism then, like then there, right. no, that, well, yeah. then there was Watto Fucking wild. Oh right. Yeah. yeah oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And then there were those um, uh, the guys doing the blockade. You're talking. Yeah. The 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 yeah the trade the trade federation yeah. fishmen. Right, yeah. yeah. Is that uh, is that legal? Yeah. Fucking. Uh, yeah. Jedi mind tricks don't work on me. Only money is probably my right. favorite one. Yeah. Uh -huh. But all that is to say, like, you could absolutely even play as a jewish character well once they were added in um and you could make the whole you could make all the world a jewish stage if you were if you were so inclined yeah, yeah. now if you were playing with uh, you know with any uh, you know, historicity at most of the bookmarks you set yourself up for a challenge right like if you're playing like Aksum, uh you know uh the prominent medieval uh jewish kingdom i believe in depending on the time mm -hmm. uh either the Arabian Peninsula or East Africa. Um, because religious cost of spell I were in the game, you could be setting yourself up to just get, you know, piled on by everybody with enough uh, prestige to, to uh, attack you. But, you know, you could also just create a character and have them be Jewish. Sure. You know, and that was, was fine. Like, you know, uh, you could also accept that challenge, right? And maybe, you know, survive. Uh, and, you know, if you weren't playing as a Jewish character, you could have Jewish characters in your court. Uh, but, yeah, there was definitely also just the option to be like, oh, wait, the Jewish moneylenders want their money back. Well, I'll just expel them. You know, right, which is a thing that happened a whole lot in historical fact. Oh, for sure, yeah. Paging Edward II. Um... <laughs> Edward II is on another call and can't, can't come to the phone at the moment. Um... I was talking to his 
goddamn priest again, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, anyway, I am ready to pause, and we could continue to talk while we are actually Yeah, playing. let's, let's do this thing. Remember that we were paused. It's all good. Okay. The siege is over. The war's about to be over. I will enforce my demands. Hold on. I, gotta, I, I like reading these letters. To the brash, Helgi. Oh, yeah. May wisdom ever elude you. I love the insults. You were a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. I was I was a total dick about it in that case, yeah. so I, I deserve all of that. Um, uh, one of my favorites from Crusader Kings 2 was, um, you know, uh, King so-and-so, may your living humors rot in your body. Your infamy is known from Ireland to Cathay. <laughs> Oh, this is interesting. Um, so my liege would like my young son. How do you pronounce that first character? Uh, Th. So Thor okay. Thor Th Thorlfer. Your no, young son Thor. Right? Okay, that is it a is. thorn. Is I, why thorn. the thorns always fuck me up? So your I would like your young son Thorfer, Rukind. <laughs> that much I know to be raised Rukin. by a, Rude. <sighs> <laughs> you know what, Adam? We like that kid. <laughs> <laughs> to be raised by Ar Arvo Serema, a most skillful guardian. So, yeah, that's fine. Um, loses Jersey as their guardian. Jersey. <laughs> Tell me more about Jersey let's real go, quick. Let's go with Jerzy, maybe? Jerzy. He's Polish. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's better. That's better. <laughs> Joycey. Uh, Jerzy. Um, I like that actually a lot. Let's go with Joycey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so long, Joycey. That's fine. That's fine. I need I need a better relationship with my liege, especially if we're going to betray her together at some point. Um, <laughs> my battle was not a battle, but a slaughter in Vologda. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, I'm going to proceed. Yep, yep, let's go. And hope that I finish my siege in due time. <sighs> I'm pulling for you. It's going to be it's going to be close. For sure. This situation is a good argument for us doing a split screen at some point, but I, I, I'm so hesitant because it would be so much visual information. Well, and like, also, we've had enough problems with technical stability. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, the pneumonia is better. Zhibog be praised. Okay, starting time. Yeah, and he didn't even get his face cut off. <laughs> Everything's coming up, Tickman. Um, <laughs> my daughter-in-law, Camilla, has given birth to a son. Since the little one is part of the Rurkid dynasty, should be blessed with a good name. Agreed. Uh, let's see. We could do name after an ancestor. We could do a good Norse name. Heralder. Yeah, I didn't see what the original one was, but it looked fascinating. It had an F in it. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to browse away. Oh, no, that's fine. I was... Uh, yeah, that was it. Frithker. Frithker. I mean that <laughs> since since that's come back three times, yeah. May you grow may you grow strong and wise. Oh no, not, 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 a, not a big fan of vowels, huh? <laughs> is that an F or is it an O umlaut? I, I think it's an O with an umlaut. Yeah. Okay, well in that case So that's an that's an uh sound, right? Yeah. Fr uh, fr okay. So that one's just like your mouth your jaws wired shut kind of sound. More or less, yeah. You, for the umlaut you just move the vowel, the same vowel sound back in your mouth in Germanic languages at least. Sure. Uh, so. Okay, good when you are. Yep, go for it. Naming the kids my is important. Have joined my army, so you know, fingers crossed. <laughs> uh, I do have another uh, event here, real quick. Lessons from the past. Yeah. Though I will surely see many battlefields before I meet my maker. I mean, we'll see about that, buddy. Uh, my library holds tales of war from a hundred lifetimes. I've recently acquired a tome of the Great Battle of Tors as well as a time-worn scroll written in some ancient language. Who knows what forgotten secrets it holds? Uh, let's see. So I could read the new tome and definitely get plus one Marshall. Or I could do a learning challenge, which would give me... <laughs> it would give me 100 martial lifestyle experience, one martial, one learning, and a commander bonus for 20 years if it works. So basically the rest of my life, for all intents and purposes, probably. Uh, or I could give up and get some stress. Um, so it's a learning challenge. My learning is decent, good. You can actually see the percentage chances uh, in that tooltip. Oh, you're right. Yeah, 80-20. I mean, fuck it, yeah. 
Meanwhile, tourney troubles. As chieftain, I've been obliged to attend a local wrestling tournament. Wrestling tournament, excuse me. But the contestants have been delayed. The tourney won't start for at least another hour. My son and heir, Heralder, is here and is always as being an insufferable lout. Oh, that Heralder. <laughs> His constant complaining is making everyone even more miserable than normal. <laughs> Things <laughs> suck in this kingdom, or Jarldom, or, or wherever we are. Uh, meanwhile, my champion, Dravenis, is sitting under the pavilion, clearly bored halfway to death. So I can push Heralder into the horse's water? What am I, <laughs> am I a chieftain, or am I like a schoolyard bully? Um both. Yeah, por qué no los dos? Um, or I could spend some time with Dravenis under the pavilion, or I can just fuck off. I mean, yeah, let's just spend time with Dravenis. Um, yeah. This, I have many negative qualities I'm role-playing. Being a bully to my child for no reason is not presently one of them. Um, if anything, I've been rather indulgent with my child. I think it's fair to say. I was surprised there wasn't an option to be like, nudge your wife and be like, go distract him. <laughs> Uh, I'm a little disappointed that yeah, it didn't it didn't take that as a character trait. It, like embraces this horrible incestuous situation. Okay, uh, good one you are. Yep. Cool. Go for it. Yes, I know that I'm being sieged. Thank you. Sorry, we got more here. Uh, even with the help of a dusty glossary, the scroll is reluctant to share its secrets, but I press on. As the night processes, the most incredible story unfolds before me. Arminius. The son of a Germanic chieftain had been raised in Rome, but plotted to forge an alliance of tribes to defeat the Romans. Arminius became an officer of the, to the Roman general Verus and advised him to take a detour through the Tirtuborg Forest. That was not a good pronunciation. Tutuborg. Leave me alone, Adam. Tutuborg Forest. <laughs> there, thank you, by the way. Uh, there, Arminius launched a series of ambushes. Due to his Roman education, Arminius knew exactly how to combat the enemy tactics and led his people to a decisive victory. Um, oh, that's Actual interesting. History. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, <laughs> do you know of that event? Is that roughly a thing that happened? I, I do oh, not yes. know of this event. 100%. Um, the, the, the emperor at the time uh, is, is said to have, for the rest of uh, his uh, reign, uh, occasionally just shouted at random, uh, you know, Arminius, give me back. Or sorry, no, Varus, because that was the, the general who was commanding and lost the battle. Varus, give me back my legions. Uh, it was a disaster for Rome. That's really cool. It's kind of the reason why Rome never conquered uh, Germania. Uh, hmm. Germania, I guess. So I gain 100 martial lifestyle experience either way. I can either gain two learning by focusing on the text itself, or I can gain one learning, one martial, and some advantages. Um, let's do that. I mean, I'm more of a martial dude anyway, so again, as a role-play sure. decision, that makes more sense. Yeah. Cool. All right. Back to an actual war. <laughs> or actually a less actual war, because that was an actual war. Right, uh, yeah, that, yeah. That happened. Yeah. Um, cool as shit. All right, here we go. Yeah. By the way, if you want me to not correct your pronunciation, just let me know. I, no, I please, please, my role here. for the love of God, correct my pronunciation. <laughs> for the love of God, <laughs> correct my pronunciation. <laughs> Uh, to the implacable Helgi, despite our best efforts, my agents have yet to uncover any secrets here at court. Every secret is known. No witch is here. Um, I do not believe we will ever find anything either. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, disrupt some schemes. Cool. All right, I'm starting up again. Sorry, I've had so much going on over here. You're good. No, eventful is not bad. Not necessarily, anyway. Well, sure, it can be. <laughs> All right, let's see. A challenger. You are unfit to rule, King Patri. The time has come for you to step down. My half-brother, Chieftain Valpo, approaches me in front of the whole tribe, proclaiming his challenge for all to hear. I wish you guys could hear the music I'm hearing right now, because it's very bombastic. <laughs> uh, I will rule the Kingdom of Finland from this day forth. Let's see. So I can say, put some steel behind your words, boy. Uh, so hold on. This has nothing. This has nothing to do with either of the two wars. This is just like someone challenging you yeah. to a, like a king's moot thing. This is yeah, just my half brother challenging me to single combat. Okay, uh, sure. So let's see. Um, prowess challenge against Chieftain Valto. Possible outcomes: sixty-eight percent chance I win the fight. I gain one hundred fifty prestige, which is tempting. He loses a level of fame and gains the trait wounded. If I lose, he gets the kingdom of Finland, and I get the trait wounded. Uh, and if I just say I will not fight you on this, he just gets the Kingdom of Finland. So I think I kind of have to fight for my right. Kind of sounds uh, like it. 
you know, so to speak, to party. So, um, well, I mean, <laughs> you got to fight if, for your right to Finland. If I if I win this duel and two wars in which I am outmatched with different opponents on opposite sides of my kingdom, then yes, then I can party. <laughs> I, w- I would say you will have fought for your right to party at that point. Yeah. Fought harder than possibly anybody else. <laughs> Frankly. Uh, okay, let's let's take the 68% chance and fingers crossed. The whole tribe is gathered to witness the duel between me and my brother Valto. But as soon as he shows up, he starts making excuses. Nice. It, it was all a mistake. I wouldn't dare challenge you. Forgive me. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. So what can you what can you do at this point? Uh, my option is just one. It says, you coward, and I gain 150 prestige. He spends 350, which I think puts him deep in the hole. Yeah. Uh, he is well into the negative prestige. You coward. <laughs> All right. Good sound bite, too. I can see your Two war, months. by the way. You're slightly at a disadvantage from, war, from what I can see. In yeah, the, yeah, because he took, he took Nyland... He finished that siege. And now he's laying siege to Tavasts. Which is still not my capital. <laughs> so fingers crossed. Yeah, here's uh, open. And he is losing people while he's in my territory, and I am also losing people while I'm in his, but I will start gaining people once I'm back in my territory. So fingers crossed that I can do this all before my mercenaries leave, because I have five treasure and I'm gaining point nine per month. So is there this before you unpause? Is there a mechanic where I can just send you money? Is that a thing? Uh, you could send me a gift if you had enough money. Uh, so if you pull up my character sheet, okay. Um, I think I've done this once this game actually. Uh, you can right click on me and send you a gift. And it says send gift. So it'd be thirty seven gold. Uh, it would cause you thirty five stress because you are greedy. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting thought. <laughs> It didn't occur to me how much this would hurt me. Yeah, um, it's not that much money, so I don't know that it's worth it. Okay. Okay. Noted. All right. Though I really do appreciate the impulse. I, I was ready to betray my liege, like, immediately. Yeah. Well, I think we're still allied, actually, which puts you in an awkward position. Oh, I guess we're not, because he declared war. Right, uh, exactly, yeah. So, dissolved the alliance. But we were allied. In fact, one of your relatives is a concubine of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! I think she might be your half sister. Yeah, that's, that sounds about right. I've I, I'm, I've ceased to care. Yeah. <laughs> this, Fair I mean, enough. I I'm not I drew. I Helgi, Chieftain right. Chieftain Helgi has decided that he's just going to take an L on this entire aspect of life. <laughs> I'm pausing. Uh, oh, he's getting ambitious. He's splitting his force three ways in order Ooh. to siege me and. Two places. He might be outsmarting himself. This might be. This might be good. I hope so. I mean, I'm a. I'm, I'm two months away, one month away from taking his capital, which will not win me the war automatically by any stretch, but it will help bolster my war score so that I can fight against him. Sure. His reinforcements are close enough that if I just like take a boat over the Gulf here. Okay. Let's see. Siege one. Fifteen gold. Nice took a guest of his hostage have some positive war score um see my worry is is if i run my 2300 up there he's got 3600 in three armies but they could all reinforce one another in one move sure so is a problem but he's also gonna out siege me and i've got another siege going in the north so i probably have to be kind of aggressive yeah Let's see. Boy, I'm going to bankrupt myself using boats. Ew. So I can oh. now declare war on Luki, by the way. Um, yeah. Do they have, like, succession, or has it just been long enough? It's just been long enough. Cool. The hell with it. Oh, no, that's I not mean, true. It hasn't been long enough. Never mind. Leave me alone. Um, he only has two troops, so he does. But I don't want to. I don't want to break the truce for other sure. reasons. Yeah. Yeah. No, that that does make sense. Uh, all right. Well, let me let me see what happens. Yeah, man. I'm rooting. I'm pulling for you. 
I gotta be aggressive here. Be e aggressive. My so. liege is down ten percent on war score, so yeah. Fuck him up, Socrates. <laughs> oh, I'm pausing. When does a man really lose a war? <laughs> ah, you're giving <laughs> you're giving me examples of losing a war. I asked you to define losing a war. <laughs> <laughs> So my students generally know what a Socratic dialogue is by the time they come to my class, uh, or at least they know the definition of it. They have a hell of a time recognizing one. Sure, <laughs> sure. I'm pausing. I think it's because of questions like that. Uh, Should probably stop declaring oops. wars for a minute and build up my kingdom. My son. Praise Lempo, Alita has given birth to a perfect little son. Who will you become, my child, and what shall I call you? So this is probably technically your nephew? Oh yeah, huh? Maybe. His name will be Urho. And he will specialize in stewardship, because god, my realm needs some stewardship. Uh, I'm pausing. Oh, okay, I'm pausing. There we go. I want to build some war camps over here. That's all you're missing on my side. Cool. I'm going to wait until my penalty for having been on a boat goes away. And then I'm going to go attack the people next to me. See what happens. Oh, I swayed nasty. But she still does not approve <laughs> of me. <laughs> I swayed nasty really sounds like a lyric to me. But... <laughs> And it does sound like the thing, like, in 10 years, I would hear it in a song and be like, oh, man, slang has really gotten away from me, hasn't it? <laughs> My students, when I first started uh, at the school where I teach now, had to spend, like, 10 minutes getting me to understand that when they said extra, they did not require an object behind it. I was like, extra what? What am I extra? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pausing. An adjective, yes, but not merely a modifier. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Well, it says I'm probably going to win, so... That's good. We'll see how this goes. That autosave was a little ominous, but... A little bit. Oh, God, if I win this, though. Please, 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 please. Oh, fuck. What, uh, what, wait, what is it called when a noun becomes an adjective? Or, like, is it is an adjective for another noun? Oh fuck! Oh, there, sorry. there is a. I'm extremely distracted. <laughs> You're being asked to to engage in several of your competencies at once. There is a word for this. Um... Well, and it's well known that I cannot read and speak and listen at the same time. I can do one of those things. Sorry, I'll take my question off the air. <laughs> no, no. no. Uh, now the battle is over, and you can ask your question. <laughs> I just. <laughs> I was saying, what, what, what is it? What is it called when a noun acts as an adjective for another noun? Oh. Hmm. You know, I don't actually know. I probably should. It seems like something I probably need to teach 7th graders, but I'd have to look it up. Like, like, just to give an example for the kids at home, like, bird wings. Bird there is acting as an adjective for wings. Yeah, yeah, and that's the sort of thing I explained to my 7th graders. Like, don't look at the word, look at what it's doing in the sentence. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I couldn't tell you. So I have to brag, though. This is not on a different subject. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, I started with 2,412. They started with 3,518. Uh, I lost 532. They lost 1,083. So they still have more people in their army than I do, but I won added 16% to my war score and gained 321 fame, as well as sending them into a retreat. So, I'm extremely happy with that outcome. <laughs> That's good stuff. There is no reason I should have won that fight, but holy shit, am I glad I won that fight. And they broke off their Siege of Tavasts. I've still got their capital in Raval. Uh, and I can probably siege back Nyland. It's going to take me a minute to maybe win this war, but I am... Um, in a much better position than I was before. <laughs> here, here. I can ransom a chieftain. Oh my god, I can get out of bankruptcy? Oh. That was 
clutch. Everything's coming up, Finland. I wish I knew what I had done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was this game in a nutshell. That was clutch. I wish I know what I just did. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to guess having 500 forest wardens was probably a good call. Sure. That seems reasonable. Um, I had better champions than they did. And that's all I got. <laughs> Maxed out um, your luck stat. Well, and attacking <laughs> one third of their army and having them bring the rest in as reinforcements meant that I was really only at any given time fighting about 2,400 people. I feel like uh, them I dividing their forces was like an interesting but understandable like mistake that yeah, they made. Yeah. yeah. Because it means that I was never fighting all 3,600 at once. I was only ever fighting up to 2,400. Sure. Okay. Let the adrenaline sink in for a second and then... Breathe it in. Go. Here we go. So I could just run the the northern invader out of town, except that he's so far away from my armies <laughs> and I need them here to keep my southern invader at bay. Sure. So he's just going to run amok for a while, I guess. Uh, all right. Unpause. I do like that you get defending bonuses when you're being sieged, even if your armies are moving into the territory. That's different from Crusader Kings 2, where if your army was moving into the territory, you were the attacker. Sure. Uh, but no, I'm defending when I'm breaking a siege. Uh, and hey, I, I went up a level of notoriety. Uh, fame, I guess, is the correct term. Sure. Nice. Congrats. <sighs> Deep breaths. The deepest. Okay. Unpausing. Again. Uh, real quick. My nephew and four others were captured during the siege of Luki. Uh-oh. By Chieftain... <laughs> Prepare to correct my pronunciation. Sv Svetozar? Of uh, Minsk. Oh, sure. Svetozar sounds fine to me. I will take it. <laughs> no um, notes. Um, yeah, no. Oh, well, that's not really your concern, because that's that's Luki. That's that's the other branch of your family. Yeah, yeah. Sure about them. I mean, I was I was going to conquer them. Um, yeah, if not for that pesky truce. Yeah, okay. We'll just we'll, <laughs> wait, we'll wait this out then. <laughs> uh, it's called a noun adjunct, by the way. Noun adjunct. I think I have heard that. No wonder I didn't remember it. That sounds like the sort of thing I learned in eighth grade and then promptly forgot. Prolfer comes of age. I'm proud to see my son no longer a child, but as an adult. With sufficient tutelage, even a child that has displayed little natural inclination towards scholarship, such as Throlfer. Is, it's, is that a thorn or is that a pea? That's a thorn, right? Throlfer. That's a thorn. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Throlfer. Can come to truly understand any subject. It looked like a P in the header, but yeah, you, I, whatever. I'll, <laughs> you, I, I don't have anything to prove to anyone. I've already failed. An avid learner, he has become quite the purveyor of knowledge and has proven himself fully capable of structuring advanced theoretical and theological arguments. Uh, so, so he's an astute intellectual now. Pro tip, you can tell the difference between the thorn in that font and the P in that font by looking at the P and paused. Oh, funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do see that. Yeah, the, the the main line doesn't extend above the uh, mm. the curve and the P, whereas in the thorn it it do. Cool. And I will readily admit that they could have made that clearer. <clears throat> uh, generally speaking, even a capital thorn has like a full overlap line, uh, and the um, round is sort of centered. But uh, sure. Yeah. No. Okay. Anyway. Time to go siege back the tribe of Porvo. Do it. I can look at your war only at the highest level, but... Yeah. Well, and I am doing well, but not conclusively so. Oh, looks like a time for me to start dying actively. Uh, chieftain or peasant, high or low, it does not matter. In the oh, end, we're all mortals. Yes. Yeah? What happened? Sorry, I realized I could offer a white piece and he would accept it. So. Oh, nice. Yes, white piece, for sure. Anyway, you were saying. Oh, I'm just dying. Don't worry about it. Um... <laughs> Okay, I won't. <laughs> you seem to be under the weather, my lord. I know a fair number of suitable remedies. Um, It's probably too late for caution. Wait, well, hang on, hang on. 
open your character sheet. Okay. And let's look at what your health actually is. Sure. Uh, so, Frozen Grief, see if you can find that in the little temporary ones next to where... Uh, that's these? No, that's not. Those are titles. No, uh, that's, that's King Nalka. That's not even you. Oh, you're right. What happened? Oh. That's weird. What is King Nalka's frozen grief? We'll come back to that. Yeah, um, this is a stress thing. So you interesting. are ill, but your health is only poor, not like dying or anything. Okay. And let's see if we can find anything in your traits that says what you're ill with. Okay. Yeah, I don't see see anything but the ill there so you know i would say that you you're not in dire straits okay we'll be we'll be circumspect then a little brighter <laughs> roginda brought me a concoction made from buckthorn and senna sounds nice at first i thought the potion ineffectual but later the same day i felt a churning in my bowels which sent me running for the privy as I howled in anguish, uh, well, <laughs> Roganda assured me that the foulness was expelled with my feces. In the end, the cleansing turned out to be just what I needed. For now, the worst of my symptoms are alleviated, and the world seems a little brighter. So the trait I gained was indigestion or constipation. Uh, um, Rogneda. Rogneda, excuse me, and thank you, and god damn it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm good now. Again, all you got to do is ask me to stop and I will, but No, it's for it's my job. I will take it seriously. It's for the best. It's a thing I'm super bad at. <laughs> like I can I can I can usually remember once told, especially with like uh -huh. people's names who I actually know. We have right. just enough time between these sessions that I usually forget again. Well, there uh, are hundreds and hundreds of names to remember. Yeah, yeah. All of right. People who don't exist, so <laughs> So I'm not going to offend them if I mispronounce them, but Right. right. Okay, ready when you are. Yep, yeah. let's go. All right, I sent my request for a white piece. Oh, thank God. Accepted? Okay. Looks like it. I keep all my titles and remain independent. Greetings, King Petri of Finland. Your wisdom and mercy are legendary. I accept your offer of peace. Let us put this conflict behind us. Uh, yeah, it looks like there's no change to my prestige. He loses some. Which is perfectly fine with me because the other asshole is sieging my capital and I really need to stop him from doing that. And it takes a while to walk from one place to the other in my territory because it's all taiga. So, yeah. Eesh. Alright. Um, let me go see if I can kick him out and remain an independent country for one more generation. Yeah, man. <laughs> Oof. Um... Let's see. Do I have a physician? I do not have a physician currently. I should I should search for one. And then it will cost me most of my current money in order to hire one. All right, I'm pausing. Oh my god, they're gonna finish this siege before I get to my capital. <laughs> That's a pain. Yeah, seven months left. Okay, so let's see. Who becomes my court physician? Arvul is quite experienced. No, he's not. <laughs> Valteri seems enthusiastic, if nothing else. Well, Arvo does have the higher learning score, but he does not have any experience being a physician. Ugh. Enthusiasm doesn't seem like the main trait you're actually looking for. No. The main trait I'm looking for is renowned physician, and neither right. of them had even the baby version of that, so... <laughs> <laughs> even, the, even the baby version for babies. Yeah, uh, None of them is even an unrenowned physician. <laughs> right, they're no kind of physician. An How obscure and ignored physician. Oh, I just realized my, my current character is generous, which means my monthly income is minus 10%, which I also had with my previous guy because he was um, intemperate or whatever. Uh, mm. he, he gave too readily to charitable causes. It's apparently just a Oh, is that what intemperance is? <laughs> uh, I don't remember. I think it was a different trait. It was oh, um, okay. improvident. That was it. There you go. There you go. That no, was the worst. That was monthly income minus 15%. Bluff. It's good to be greedy. Greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Well, except for your mental health. 
in which case it's actually pretty bad. And diplomacy, oh. yeah. Yeah, on pause. Oh, hey, I uh, just turned, like, negative a thousand and something years old. thousand and eighty-four years old. Wait, what? Uh, uh, I was looking at the, the date, and we were a thousand and eighty-four years before the day that I was born. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. So it was Inf- negative a thousand and eighty-four years old. Information brokering. Chieftain Kairo has approached me, claiming he has discovered who was behind the murder of my acquaintance, Julia. I do not know who the hell Julia is. (laughs) My sister-in-law. Okay. (laughs) He has offered to provide me with everything he knows, including names and evidence in exchange for a favor to be rendered on a future date. The day may come when he asks me for a favor. (laughs) Have you seen that SNL skit, What's That Name? No, I have not seen that one. It's a game show uh, where they have to guess people's names, and it starts off with being like celebrities and stuff, and they get it right. But then they start introducing them people that they should know. Oh god! <laughs> it's like it's like, hi, I'm your best friend, and this is my girlfriend of four years. What's her name? Mm. <laughs> this sounds like my personal nightmare. <laughs> Hell is just that forever. I I am so bad with names. Oh. It's like my struggle at the beginning of every school year. I tell all 80 or so students that I've got, like, hey, it's going to take me, like, three weeks to know your names, and God help me if I get identical twins. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, this year, I have identical twins whose names both start with the same letter, and they are in the same class. God, no. (laughs) Do they dress alike? At this age, probably no. not. Yeah, they have different haircuts. They, they, well, they, they wear the same uniforms, but like you know, their their personal appearance is, is a little different. Sure, sure. So, oh, you have uniforms? Yeah, we're a Catholic school. God help me. I mean, he's the one who won't. I think. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have to look elsewhere. <laughs> um, Most of the public schools around here also have uniforms. Though, so. Oh, I see. That's wild to me. Uniforms were a very went, rare thing growing up in in Southern I, California, but I don't know. I What's went that? to one of I went to one of the only Catholic high schools that did not have a uniform. They had a dress code, but oh, not yeah. a uniform. Yeah, no. I mean, public schools have dress codes, but like, you know, uh, I went to public schools that didn't have dress codes, except for a year and a half, where I went to one where we were like the first couple of years where they had uniforms right so was, we just had dress codes and then i went to ones that had uniforms and i thought it was the stupidest thing in the world went to another one that didn't have uniforms everything was right again and so like i'm currently in my current job being asked to enforce uniform policy and i'm just like i can I'm, tr- I'm, 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 like, like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to care but i i can't yeah, it's physically just, yeah i think this is a bad policy you guys but i tell my students like look you're coming here gotta wear the uniform i'm gonna ask you to wear it correctly you want to write a paper about how you shouldn't have uniforms i will happily read and grade that paper (laughs) but uh they don't ask me about about the policies yeah so i close my eyes and i pretend i do not see yeah well that's that's you know they hired me knowing that i was not catholic what they don't know is that i'm like an irreligious former protestant but you know i mean if they want people who can teach they're gonna have to go outside of the pool of true believers I, oh like... my god it's so true <laughs> there's no getting around <laughs> it uh okay real quick i need to know this horrible secret um so the horrible secret appears to be that jarl orvar was the murderer of my acquaintance julia julia i have been i fuck that guy i think i hated wait, wait, you wait, anyway that... That's the Lukey guy. That is the Lukey guy. That's my nephew. Yeah, yeah. That's the Jarl of Lukey. Wow. What Fuck a... that guy. Fuck that kid. <laughs> the Fuck conniving... Year old. Yeah, you know what? Conniving wretch. Can I declare war on him without breaking a treaty yet? I don't think I can. I'm going to go ahead and move that 12-year-olds should never be given power of life and death over anyone. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean seconded. Motion carries. Um... <laughs> I'm, the day this truce is over, kid, your ass is grass. Let me let me tell you. <laughs> All right, good when you are. Uh, I am good. So cool. 
go ahead. I always forget the space bar doesn't do it in multiplayer. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's one of those things. It takes some getting used to. All right. I might get there in time. It's going to be hard fought, though. We're going to be pretty evenly matched, it looks like. I can't see a damn thing of your struggles now that my leash is not involved. Yeah, no, uh, you wouldn't have been able to see this part anyway. They've got 2,300. I've got 2,200. Uh, oh, hey, new perk. Nice, nice. What do Crusader Kings and Fallout have in common? <laughs> pretty much this. Yeah, pretty much this. Uh, yeah, I'll finish out this tree. Learn on the job. 20% of your counselor's primary skills are added to your own. So that's pretty good. Not terrible. Would it be better if I had better counselors, being honest? Yeah. Not great, not terrible. <laughs> Getting two from most of them, five from one of them. Ain't nothing. Yeah. And, you know, hey, if I'm in a defensive war, having five more marshals is not a bad thing. Oh, not a bit. All right, unpausing and going into this battle, which I should win, according to the game. The nobles of Tikvin are with you. The people of Tikvin hate the nobles of Tikvin, so they're probably not with you. <laughs> it's only because they have not embraced Slovyanska Pravda yet. <laughs> yet. This seems to be going my way. Good. Having having those forest wardens just really seems to be just tearing through them. Okay. Um, wounded. My injured vassal. My vassal chieftain Urhol has been wounded, and the injury runs deep. I fear that his body is not strong enough to fight this on its own. I feel death lingering by his bedside. Well, that would be a shame. It's not but ideal. My not what one would wish. There is nothing that can be done, and he has gained the trait severely injured. So, you know, thanks for notifying me, I guess. <laughs> I'm pausing. All right. Victory in the Battle of Oulu. And I took his son prisoner in the battle. It's nice. They lost about twice as many as I did, which is also nice. I could ransom Rostos Guladat for all that I can't pronounce his name. I could ransom him. Um, and he is definitely contributing to my war score. So we're just going to let that ride while we go take back our territory. Nice. Unpausing. I'm raiding. Haven't done too much of that yet. It's a pretty good use of your time. Gives you... Uh... Oh, Luki lost some territory. Minsk is now on your um, menu, as it were. With oh, that's right. 1,800 people. Uh, 1,800 troops, I should say. Got a martial perk real quick here. Kingsguard, four more knights. Easy peasy. Time is starting again. All right. Um, let's see. Marshall. What, is, what is that? What is that legendary mouse called in... Uh, uh... In Divinity? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Um... Uh, um, an American tale. Oh, Survival? the mouse of the mouse of Minsk. The, the, yeah, the yeah, mouse the, of Minsk. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Legendary in the world of the movie. Gotcha. Right. <laughs> uh, that makes. Well, we the secret weapon. It is Sorry, I'm just like I'm just like free associating over here. That's cool. <laughs> it's been, it's been it's a slam. very long time since I have thought about an American tale. I watched the Folding Ideas episode about the really terrible Fievel video game not too long ago. Oh, recommend it. Yeah. Not aware of that video game, but it it does not sound like something particularly that should have been done. It, it would have been better if it hadn't been, but it was, so we may as well get what entertainment out of it we can. Oh, for sure, yeah. Ill, my old self. As I woke this morning and saw rays of sunshine falling through my window, it took me a moment to realize I had slept soundly for the first time in weeks. I did not wake up coughing once. All right, I'm good. Nice. You didn't die. 
Congratulations. I am a also, hale and hearty 53-year-old witch. I do feel like um, my current king's beard is not as grand as my previous king's beard, but it's pretty good. Hang on, it's I like, gotta it's take a, a look here. Yeah, it's it's a B tier beard. That's a solid beard. Yeah, it's not uh, oh, not 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 quite as voluminous as the last one, but no. Well, this battle is going to be close fought, and uh, it's going to kind of take the entire war on its shoulders, I think. Okay, so far so good. I seem to have already extracted all the loot there is to extract from this raiding area. Oh, there we go. There's 12. 12 oh, I win. I win, I win, I win. You won, you won, you won? My fame is widely known. I am now distinguished, progressing toward illustrious. All right. And uh, battle at Kitka. They lost about twice as many as I did. Again, which still puts them about 500 ahead of me. But defending in Taiga... Apparently, I just really punch above my weight class. The Kingdom of Estonia is raiding me with 4,000 troops. <laughs> it's not a raid. That's a like, war. Well, I'm like, dude. Does that mean 4,000 is pocket change to the King of Estonia? Is, that what's, no, is this a flex? Army. His entire army is out that's there. That's completely raiding. wild. He has 292 gold and is getting 3.6 per month. I have 21 and I'm only getting 2.5 per month. Leave me alone, dude. Ugh. Unpausing. Wait, what, what exactly are the units of gold being used? Treasure. It's pretty it's abstract. Not, it's it's yeah. pretty abstract, yeah. Okay. I would say it is completely abstract. There is no... <laughs> we call like, it gold casually, but it's actually called like income or wealth, like wealth, yeah. okay. treasure. Oh, income. I see. Yeah. You have twenty-one wealth points. Yeah, no. In the in the same way that you, what what does ninety-six prestige mean? What does nine hundred and ten piety mean? I mean, like, sure. what does four hundred and twelve renown mean? Just have to kind of like get an intuition for it. Yeah, they're they're relative to you know uh, your neighbors and to the things that governments buy, like. Man at arms regiment. Right, yeah, it's like any currency. It's just arbitrary, depending on what people think or believe that it's worth. Yeah. Well, and it's like, you know, telling that, like, the more august the person you want to bribe, the higher the price of the bribe. Mm -hmm. uh, you know. Spouse. I guess I'm pretty cheap to bribe. <laughs> cheap at the price. My spouse, Broadening Horizons. Well, you know a thing or two about ancient military campaigns. The chieftain of Tikvin should possess a broad range of skills, my wife says, smiling with cold intent. I could acquire some new tomes, prepare a few assignments, tutor you a little. What subject are you most interested in? Uh, so let's see, I could say diplomacy. I could say realm economy. I mean, I'm just going to gain a point in something. Interesting, right? right? Um, so you could shore up a weakness, or you could enhance... Uh, I mean, theology or realm economy would give you another point in something that you're already good at. Yeah. Uh, diplomacy or spy network management would help you shore up a weakness. Let's go realm economy. Good stuff. I do tend to hold with the, the point of view that stewardship is kind of the most important stat for the most part. Um, I think in general that's true, yeah. Uh, Marshall and diplomacy are actually quite po important for tribal leaders because they you know, uh, have more direct expression in prestige and army size uh, than for feudal leaders, but uh, I, I still, you know, sure. try to consolidate my territory, essentially. All right, let's see if we can um, start taking this war to the invaders' turf. Sounds awesome. good. Fire and blood. The settlement of Tvir. An important stronghold in Greater Tver, <laughs> these names, uh, and the recursivity of names, that's what gets me, has fallen to my raiders. 
we have run uh we have the run of vast tracts of land and many of the quivering subjects it's got and huge tracts of land <laughs> huge uh many of the quivering sub the quivering subjects and shining treasures of chieftain Kez- kezvat yeah adam roughly to choose from um, the troops stand ready you're waiting my command to give them direction yeah that wasn't too bad i, I this is one where the the compression kind of uh is fighting me uh maybe kezvat or Kejavet? Sure. Well, I'm greedy, so so not gaining wealth is going to stress me the hell out. So I guess yeah. I have no choice but to just sack bounteous plunder. No choice. Nothing to be done. <laughs> Go ahead I mean, and ransom your two, child. But, you know. Not a single really, choice. One that I definitely couldn't pick. <laughs> It was weird. My finger just wouldn't hover over it. Okay, yeah. uh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, deep storytelling is not necessarily the um, forte here, but at the same time, uh, it does do a very good job of making things interesting and kind of unpredictable. Yeah, and vivid. Vivid. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, I do not know um, what my next move should be. Uh, scheme wise, that is. My daughter in law, Kivuthar, has given birth to a son since the little one is part of the Rurikid dynasty. Should be blessed with a good name, I agree. Uh, how do you say that one? Um, Sigurther? Sigurther. I mean, that's solid. It's a solid name. Sigurdur, may you grow strong and wise. I might need to uh, run for just one moment if you have any business to take care of, but I'll be back real real soon. Sounds good to me. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to settle on a new scheme, actually, trying to figure out um, what might be a useful place for me to uh, try and... Uh, direct my really limited intrigue stat. Uh, Fair enough there. Uh, there isn't a lot, being honest, uh, that seems like a good idea. <laughs> Puzzle it over. Um, right back. Yep. So I could try to murder somebody who's holding a title that I am in line for, but I'm really bad at plotting murder. <laughs> getting caught plotting murder tends to be a PR nightmare. <laughs> um, so I don't know that I want to do that. But there isn't a whole lot else that would put my little scheme slot to good use. I guess I could try to blackmail somebody. Yeah, I think my highest chance of successfully murdering somebody is my um, half-brother, Chieftain Valto, he who tried to challenge me to a duel for the throne. I have a 52% chance of success, a, what, 67% chance of going undetected, and it would take like three years. And that's not amazingly good odds, honestly. So I guess I'll just see if there's anybody I need to sway. Maybe I've got a vassal who doesn't like me very much who could just, you know, use some sweet talking. Um, yeah, maybe Chieftain Urho of Kakasalmi uh, could uh, use a little bit of sweet talking. So let me go ahead and use my scheme to sway him. That has a much higher chance of success, and if it backfires, it doesn't lead to me being perceived as a criminal by everybody in my kingdom. And I mean, you know, maybe rightfully so. If I'm plotting murder, I probably am a criminal. I'm Actually, back and yeah, better than ever. Means... If you're plotting murder, you're probably a criminal. I don't mean that in like a Jeff Foxworthy way. Uh, <laughs> if you're plotting murder, you might be a criminal. Oh, man. I'm sure you got your reasons. 
I don't judge, man. Where are my holy sites for Glavisco? Boy, Chelmo. That's a ways off. <laughs> if you really want to get away with it, what you should do is institute a purge type situation. <laughs> hey, boy. <laughs> oh, Where's Jesus. that button? Well, it's going to be hard to get all my holy sites. That's for sure. But I'm you you figure that out. I'm gonna I'm gonna ban some spam bots from the Twitch channel real quick. Oh, for sure. <laughs> of which we've gotten a few. The pastime of kings. Yeah, that's how you know you've made it. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I mean, we're basically ninja now, so. <laughs> I will have my Fall Guys skin of me now, please. <laughs> Money, please. <laughs> We should probably resolve the conflicts we're currently in, and then I may need to go make some udon. Ooh, I would never stand between a man and his udon. <laughs> uh, no, you're, so a man yeah, of, you're a man uh, of principles. I wouldn't expect that. Uh, yeah, if, if I can finish this war that I'm in... Yeah, man. Uh, that would be... I wouldn't come between a man and his war. <laughs> <laughs> finish a war, be home by dinner. <laughs> I mean, finish, finish a war, eh? Eh? Finish, finish. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I had to you... double check. I am actually culturally Finnish and not just uh, Balto Finnic. <laughs> just occupying the area. Yeah. Well, so there are other ones, right? Like I share a religion with uh, the Estonian king, uh, for instance. Uh, and Bjarmia uh, is Ukanusko, uh, but they're Bjarmian, which is of the agro permian culture group so you are finnish which is a culture that is part of the balto finnic group yeah yeah uh, and then ukanusko right, you got a whole, you, like you got a whole group named after you larger finno urgic faith uh that you can kind of see in that map view is it urgic or ugric ugric i've got if you don't know the years. chances of me knowing are basically zero i have switched around that r and that g for years I feel such a fool. Unpause. It's an educational video game. Yeah. Coveted literature. My lord, my noaidi Nasti, approaches me with urgency. A local merchant has a copy of the compendious book on calculation by completion and balancing, but refuses to sell it to me. If you would make him see the error of his way, I would be in your debt. Oh, that's expensive. I'm sorry, Nasty, but this sounds like a you problem. <laughs> is actually what my button said. <laughs> I had to press a button that said that. Uh, I just do not have the money. Unpausing. I am glad I have invested in the men-at-arms regiments that excel in Taiga, because boy... There's a lot of taiga up here. <laughs> you're in you're in a taiga rich zone. It's true. Lungs of the world. Wow, well, sort of. Sort of kind of. Oh no, my mercenary contract is expiring. This is bad. But I cannot rehire them, so just have to deal. Fortunately, the enemy is borderline suicidal at this point. So. Good. Good. <laughs> it's a self-solving problem. Yeah. It's free real estate. <laughs> <laughs> that tickled me. Seem to be doing all right, and they're driving up my war score out of their desperation, so all is well. demonstration Ooh, I, of leadership what's up i wounded the uh head of state on the Ooh, side of this war mazel tov saying. i was saying <laughs> and my friend ravanis who's my champion has been hovering around my council meetings lately knowing his interest in matters of leadership i cannot help but feel that the man is waiting for me to impress him 
I could probably engage him in conversation. On the other hand, it might be better for him to simply see me interacting with my men. There is something to be said for at least pretending to know every soldier's face. Um, so I can gain 50 martial lifestyle experience and become a respected figurehead for two years, which helps me reinforce my levies. Or I could gain that same martial lifestyle experience and have him like me better. Mm. Um, he already likes me pretty well, so I think I'm going to take the levy. Sitch. Cool. Makes sense. Unpausing. Ooh, you have a lot of I'm, money. I, I'm imagining a button that says respect, pay respect, I have to pay respects to the troops. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. I pretend no. to know the troops' names. Nothing, yeah. so, nothing so crass as that. I do have a lot of money. Um, rating. King of Denmark, hell yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. That's my half-sister. Just, just go for it. To the cocky chieftain Helgi. We've been burdened with your oppressive laws for far too long. No more. We're done paying your taxes. Blah, 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 peasant revolt. Uh, yeah, <laughs> peasants allowed us to serve their lord. To the loathsome Helgi, I've been corresponding with your chancellor, Savasti, and it has been a shameful diplomatic display. You are not the man I thought you were. Um, oh, boy. <laughs> you were my brother, Anakin. Um, I mean, he loses 30 opinion of me. That's all no, that's, we can do. That's from... Um... That's that line from uh, Shogun Total War. Oh, shit, you're right. Our, yeah. our men are running from the battlefield. A shameful display. Oh, gosh, yeah. All right, well, time for another peasant revolt. Good when you were. Yep. Go for it. Unpause. Hold on, let me find the peasants real quick here. Repaused. Uh, where are the peasants? Wither the revolt. Oh, there they are. Um, it's a less piteous display than last time. Um, yeah, I'm just going to let my troops rally for now. Okay. I'm pausing. Good deal. Looks like only you can unpause. Oh. Oh, yeah. For two minutes. Only, you can, only you can prevent gender reveal parties. <laughs> Hey, I'm illustrious. Well, I have replaced my Milabi, or my Milabi has been replaced for me, and I have married my half-sister to the King of Denmark, whose name is fantastic, by the way. Uh, this is King Sigurther Snake in the Eye. <laughs> I think it's a real guy. That's incredible. I think that's a person who actually existed. I'd have to double-check. That is a uh, strong, strong name. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, what else? Two more things. Not endorsed by the YB. God damn it. I can't afford to send you a gift, so you're just going to have to fucking live with it for a while. Um, cool. All right, cool. I'm allied to Denmark now, if only in the loosest possible terms. Cool, cool. Uh, but next time I get invaded by a superior force maybe i can spend some prestige to call in denmark's 2400 troops okay i'm pausing i think if i finish the siege i will win this war but boy is it going slowly Hopefully that'll also give me some prestige, because they've been hemorrhaging it during this war. All my men-at-arms cause prestige to keep raised and in the field, unfortunately. Free prestige! Hooray! Yeah, my, my scheme to sway one of my vassals, uh, I could spend prestige to make him uh, like me more, or I could gain prestige by being kind of a dick about it. Unfortunately, my mother Titty died. So I gained 50 stress and went stress critical. That's not ideal. Remind me what stress critical does for you. That's when you have a mental break if you're over um, 100 stress. 
But then, like, um, like what, what are the results of that? What can't you do or what bad thing happens to you? Oh, it, there are a lot of different options. Uh, different things can happen. So in this case, I got an event. Reach stress level one, mental break, dark thoughts. Mm. Guilt and shame have been plaguing me as of late. All of my sins, my flaws, my failings. These dark thoughts distract me from my responsibilities and keep me awake at night. I feel like I must do something to put an end to this mental anguish, but what could possibly help? Donating to charity would make up for my sins, in which case I would go into debt, lose 35 stress, and gain Improvident, which my last guy had, uh, and would mean that I would have a total of minus 25% to my monthly income. Maybe a couple of drinks will help. Gain the trait Drunkard, which would not be amazing, gain, uh, lose 35 stress, and then I must be strong and resist these impulses, would gain 35 or 31 stress, and if I'm still stressed in five years, I will suffer another mental break. And boy, that's a lot of stress to get rid of. Yeah. Ugh. I don't have enough money to call host a feast or call a hunt, which are ways of getting stress mm -hmm. lowered. But like, doing one of these doesn't lower my stress enough to get me below 100. Yeesh. Well, maybe this guy is just the king that ends up thinking that he's made of glass. <laughs> maybe. I must be strong and resist these impulses and just really, really try to have enough money to host a feast or something. <laughs> well, you know what would lower my stress if I were a king is repelling the second of two invasions that happened almost simultaneously. So I'm pausing. Ha! Enforce my demands. Give me your money and your prestige. There it is. My neighbor, King Petri, has won against High Chieftain Bayuthi. Oh, they had a succession, I guess, while all that was going on. Yeah, uh, your guess is as good as mine on that pronunciation. Boy. Bayuthi, I guess. Oh, by Evie, by Evie. <laughs> Ignore me. Oh, no. It's it's best it's best not to think about anything I say. <laughs> it's far too late for that. <laughs> Can't unring that bell. Yeah. Oh man. Well. All right. That's good for me. How are you looking? Um, I should probably finish this peasant revolt uh, before we uh, call it. Well, in that case, I will also, like, host a feast, maybe. That sounds um, like a solid use of time. God, it's so expensive. Maybe I'll go on a hunt instead. Uh... Yeah, let's, let's go on a hunt while you finish up your... Uh... Putting down your revolt. It, yeah, they're doomed. It's just they're slippery. They keep making weird right. moves. Yeah. Dastardly peasants. Villains. You know. More or less literal in a logical sense. Yeah, yeah, like pretty pretty exactly. Jesus Christ. What happened? Hunt. Injured. God dang it. <laughs> Bounding through the taiga, I am gaining on the majestic stag I've been chasing for hours. Just as I prepare to strike, I hear my vassal High Chieftain Toivo cry out in pain. His fallen is now clutching his leg. So I can leave him behind for 150 prestige. What? The, why or, would that give you 150 prestige? I guess because I catch the stag. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I follow um, that. Uh, or I could say move. I am trained in medicine. Because uh, of my learning skill, I can keep him from being wounded. And he will gain opinion of me. And I will gain one learning. Which is all pretty good, but do you have any idea what 150 prestige is worth to me right now? A whole ass war? Yeah. Yeah, like, the ability to keep my kingdom, frankly. Bag that stag. Um, so, hi, Chieftain Toivo. You don't like me anyway. And I wouldn't get back up into the green by helping you. 
So my hope is, is that between you being ill and you now being injured, you're just going to croak, and the fact that you don't like me won't be my problem anymore. That's my hope. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, I'm a good person and a good king. <laughs> that was a good king. <laughs> that was awesome. Returning from the wild, the hunt is drawing to an end. We mount our horses and leave the taiga behind as the servants prepare the stag and other game for the journey back. Everything that could go wrong seemed to do so, but there were silver linings to be found. We return home in disappointment, and I gain another 150 prestige. Hell yes. Very nice. That was an extremely successful hunt. And I now have enough prestige <laughs> that I could actually um, jump up to absolute tribal authority if I was nice. willing to take the opinion hit which i'm kind of not right now but i'm not saying you meant to but like on that hunt you did sort of hunt the most dangerous game a little bit yeah um i'm only 37 i can probably live long enough for this to be all workable and shit hopefully all right um let's see not endorsed by nobody Designated guardian for my son. Air? Son. Not air. Not air? Weird. Um. Let's see how that goes. Still need money to use the surf that. Okay. Cool. On pausing. Cool. Differences in faith. The chieftain of Finland, they believe in Asatru. They do not pray to Uko. Roy de Kaleva condemns it as heresy, but the people ask for understanding. Do? Oh, the one county of Finland. Jesus. Kali worship is none of my business. Gives me religious understanding. Or they will pray to the gods. It will be easier to convert faith in chieftain of Finland for 30 years. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, it makes my person like me more. And you know what? Um, I don't directly hold the county of Finland, so not really my problem. Groovy. On um, pausing. So these peasants have retreated out of my territory. Mm -hmm. I was pursuing them. I am still pursuing them, but I've kind of lost sight of them. Yeah. So, do I just chill? I mean, they're going to have to take territory from you if they want to win this war. Yeah. Let's see. I can pick a husband for my... Um, daughter? Yes. What about Thoral for Helgis and Rurikid? He seems like a strapping young lad. Eligible. Eligible AF. Is he important in any way to your dynasty? Is he in line for something? Uh, say his name again. Thoral for Helgis and Rurikid. Um, I mean, he's in line. He's, he's by no means the first in line to anything, I don't think. Uh, let me just check my titles real quick here. Oh, he's actually, um, so he's, he's, I'm going to lose part of the Confederate partition to him when uh, the seer dies. Cool. Well, then I will not request a matrilineal marriage because it wouldn't do for me to inherit parts of your kingdom. Uh, Makes that sense. Would be messy. Uh, so let's see about shoring ourselves up for something akin to an alliance here. That'll do. Should be getting a, uh, uh, request for that sort of thing sometime. Once time unfreezes, I assume, yeah. yeah. I'm pausing. I oh accept. Oh my god, I gained another 25 stress because my brother died. <laughs> oh, that Lord. sucks. Well, we're allies, so that's good. Um, 
yeah, net, I have reduced my stress level by five. Woof. Uh, well, you know, another 46 gold and I can hold a feast, I guess. Eesh. I'm pausing. I think I'm just going to have King Crazy here. His psyche will shatter like one of the putty patrol. Insufficient census. Fucking steward. Fucking steward. What is he even doing over there? <laughs> what do I pay this guy for? So yeah, the none of the peasants are in my territory. Oh, there, here they come. Uh, but first. I'm going to try it. Ninwasadka comes of age. I'm proud to see my daughter no longer as a child, but as an adult, yada, yada, yada. Uh, they grow up so fast. She is now an intricate web weaver. Good at intrigue, you say. Cool. Yeah, well, for whatever it's worth, I don't even know where to begin with that name myself. So <laughs> It's a hell of a name. She's yeah. got a good, she's got a hell of a look, too, with that pugilist posture and that big ass necklace. All right. Here we go. It's a strong look. And I'm sure that if I heard somebody pronounce the name properly, I would slap my forehead and be like, of course, but such a person is not currently on this stream. Indeed not. That I know of. You know, I have all this prestige laying around. Eat. Why don't I increase the size of my Metsam Vartia? Do you, do you happen to speak German or Proto-German? Uh, I can pronounce Germanic, uh, like, you know, standard spellings and words pretty well. I, I took German, I took Old English, um, but we are currently dealing with a lot of Slavic and Finnish names, uh, and those are sound systems that I am much less familiar with. Ah, uh, I see. Slavic, I can kind of fake a lot of the time, as long as the spellings are relatively transparent. Um finish my only point of reference is like literally one pop punk song from like the year 2000 <laughs> that i uh have on my computer and have had on my computer since about the year 2000 that is in finnish called Fadeski hollywooden but it's like i don't know what if blink 182 just sang in <coughs> finnish like you don't, not... <laughs> right oh isn't isn't that meme song ivan polka in finnish Maybe I. This is the first I've heard of it. Oh, you don't know? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I will take your word for it. Uh, All right. It looks like they planned badly, and I will have crushed this force before the reinforcements arrive. Although I think even if the reinforcements get there, it should be fine. Oh yeah, you you have a, a dominating uh, presence, a military presence there, um, and your light infantry are countering their levies effectively and they can only bring levies because they are peasants so they should have thought of that before they became peasants exactly i keep saying that <laughs> um, it's not my fault um, if they don't have what was it food <laughs> anyway <laughs> what concern is of mine we do a lot of Yzma quoting in this house even just you know when do you have to go to work do you have time for a quick cup of coffee uh, oh did you see that um, that oral history of, uh, of that film I have not I have not looked into it I saw that it exists so good it's have so you good. have you seen the sweatbox that documentary that uh, Disney has tried to bury about like the shift from that being like a like a, a serious you know epic movie to what it became it's really good oh I haven't if you want, if you want some interesting uh, production trivia and a whole lot of sting, being sad and bewildered about things, it is the movie for you. Yeah, the the, the one the one tidbit that I really enjoyed was the fact that the only the first and only copy of a script that they had was finished two weeks after the movie had hit theaters. <laughs> oh boy! 
boy. Given everything I know about that movie, it is it is shocking how good that movie is. Yeah. Um, I use it as an example, actually, um, when I uh, talk to my, like, advisory group, kind of like a, an occasional homeroom at school. Uh, we have these occasional off days where I'm like, what, what do you want to know about? And I have a few things. Like, what do you feel like your education has not provided you with knowledge on? Mm. Uh, so the first one is always taxes. Uh, and so I have like a little, you know, 15 minute, like, here's federal taxes, you know, kind of in a nutshell mm-hmm. going. But um, one of the ones I have in my pocket for when they don't have an answer is uh, copyright and how Disney abuses it. Oh, okay. so, um, Emperor's New Groove is one I go to is there because at the time that that movie was released, they held the copyright to Happy Birthday, which kept anybody else from using Happy Birthday in any kind of commercial or public performance sense. Uh, and so things like, you know, Chili's or Applebee's, where they'll come and sing at your table, couldn't sing Happy Birthday. They had to make up their own songs. And so in Emperor's New Groove, when they distract Yzma and get out of the restaurant by having them go sing Happy Birthday to her, they had to make up a song other than Happy Birthday, even though they held the rights to Happy Birthday, because otherwise it would have seemed like fake. You know, because oh, restaurants can't sing right. Happy Birthday to you because Disney owns Happy Birthday. And so wow. Disney owning Happy Birthday did not help them actually use Happy Birthday in the one movie where they have the song Happy Birthday. That is so crystal <laughs> because perfect. It be un- because it would be unrealistic. Exactly, yeah. And I mean, like, the joke works better, right, if it's, like, a peppier song. But... Uh, yeah, it's but it's it's a perfect example of how people who own intellectual property don't own it to use it or to make right. things. They own it to to you know sit on their treasure hoard like a dragon. Exactly. My steward just got me like eighty five like free gold and is officially my favorite person in this game. <laughs> good good man, and you know I accept it. I'm, I'm a bit of a trash man over here. <laughs> um, Okay, so I crushed the Peasant Uprising. May may my humors rot in my living body once again. Uh, I think all is well. I mean, plenty is wrong, but... uh... Sure. There's still a Kingdom of Fenland. There's still a Chiefdom of Tikvin. And it's a little bigger now than it was. It is, it is. Some some tests have been passed. Uh, My my wife likes me a whole lot uh, and is is plugging along. (laughs) Um... My my air. Oh, she's plugging. <laughs> she sure is plugging. My air uh, also plugging uh, on an unrelated note. Herbichek. Herbichek. Yeah. I think that's right. I uh, no. I had a um. Uh, the priest of the church I went to when I was in high school. That was his name. Oh, interesting. Fascinating. Uh, yeah. Uh, in that case, um, I uh, for sure got it wrong last time. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I to, uh, yeah. I, 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 I did know someone whose last name had no vowels in it. Mm. It was it was C V R K. Pronounce that for me. Schwark. Schwark. Okay. Schwark. Yeah. Schwark. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's legit. Uh, vowels yeah. are an indulgence we can't afford in these unprecedented times. <laughs> <laughs> well like I, I spent a little well, you time you do have to buy them right you do yeah. they cost it's They're true expensive. I did spend a little time in Wales where you see a lot of words that don't appear to have vowels but like Y and W are both definitely vowels in mm. Welsh so mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. even though C-W-T-C-H does not look like it has a vowel in it it technically does uh, sure. Trich, by the way which means a hug or a cuddle that's adorable <laughs> I'm such a sucker for those words that sound like what they are. Oh, yeah. Well, um, anyway. I th- we did a thing tonight. Um, thank you, everybody, hey, for watching. I survived. I'm <laughs> immensely impressed with myself. Yeah, you should I be. I myself um, on the back right now. You can probably hear it. Let me go ahead and... You can hear it a little. Go ahead and save. <laughs> oh, yes. For the love of God. <laughs> or Uko, I guess. Oh, you know what? I didn't, I didn't save to the cloud, which was silly of me. Let's do that, too. Just just in, in case my house burns down, which I don't think it will. <laughs> but no one ever thinks it will. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, if, if, if you're uh, rendered comatose and uh, Lauren has to pick this up. Uh, <laughs> this will be my legacy, <laughs> God damn <Yeah>. it. <laughs> this, this stream <laughs> that we do like once every three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, it is always a pleasure, though. Ian, thanks for sitting in. For sure, um, yeah. Hope you had a good time. It's been lovely. It was a lot of fun. I, I, I learned. I learned a ton. <laughs> That's awesome. like almost despite ourselves, we do seem to do that every time. Um, yeah, and yeah, I think not a single person viewed the entire time, but a lot of people did stop by. So anybody who's seeing this right now or after the fact, thank you for stopping by. Um, if you're here because you like the podcast. Um, Chell Wong was on this last time and Bryant Young, who's making a VR game called Our America uh, about just a black dad bring, driving his son to school and all the stuff that can happen there uh, is, uh, is going to be on next time. So that should be a good conversation. And uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in. Yeah. And thank you, Drew, for having me. Dude, any time. <laughs> thank you both. You both. You both enrich not just the stream, but my whole existence on this weird blue marble. Aw back at you and i am down for this whenever so hopefully i'll see you and the audience again soon fare thee well <laughs>